because I'm worth it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi, guys. We made, we're sorry we're six minutes late. Okay. We had to eat. And actually, it was getting yelled at by the dogs. I blame democracy. Yeah. Yes. Demo we had to spread it. We can't out. We can't help oh, it. You guys were playing Hell Divers. Yeah. Do you play right. Hell Divers? Yeah. Oh, Hell Divers is awesome. I'm a, I'm a retro gaming snob. I know. Okay, it's I asked him. I was like, I'm sad. He was <laughs> like, it's got yuck. more than eight pixels. I'm not going to play Hell Divers. Exactly. <laughs> it's too, too many, high it's, definition. It's, yeah, it's like those, those really tiny letters that I can't read. And it's like, wow. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> like, um, I'll Gary. play one day. It's so maybe, tiny. I can't maybe see Maybe in 20 it. years, I'll, I'll play it. Uh, yeah, when it's it, it retro, it retro. retro. everyone else has moved on. <laughs> They're in like their full body it. suits in <laughs> VR rooms. <laughs> Laser projectors in the sky. Hell like, Divers Hell Divers is amazing. <laughs> Back from my day. Day. Remember how divers too? Right. That's right. Gotta play Everyone's then. moved into like basically the Matrix. <laughs> You're the last guy outside. <laughs> exactly. But um, if you guys don't know, which I think everybody here probably knows, this is Dan Fask. He's like a super famous singer on YouTube. <gasps> Oh, oh, oh my Whoa. god. <laughs> Ready to throw my um <laughs> I don't have anything. My vodka at you. I was gonna say, are you gonna like throw your vodka camera? That's a like... bit deadly, that one. <laughs> yeah, I brought I have me some stoli. This is gonna be a saucy Saturday, an actual one from me. Yeah, nice. I, I have a little bit of whiskey because X ray said she was drinking and I was like, twist my arm, why don't you? Yeah, oh, didn't no, I didn't take much. She didn't even ask you to. She just said she was. Oh, oh. And I was like, I Should guess I will too then. <laughs> Dan, are you drinking dihydrogen monoxygen? What is it? What's that? H two O, dihydrogen yeah. monoxide. Oh yeah, dihydroxide. Yes. Yeah. I got that too. <laughs> they, 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 this water is kind of old, so yeah, maybe monoxide. That's what it was. Yeah, oh, there you go, Dan. Watch out, oh, Kim. That one. My God. Yes, Kim, I'll, I'll hold you up to that. <laughs> Oh His my pants goodness. are also made of glass and have whiskey nice. in them. <laughs> 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 Gotta be used at least for three days. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't accept Look. new panties. <laughs> they They're hot. Like daily. You Those should be changing daily. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's, it, it, That's not good enough. It, it, you want you to it, commit. It, 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 I'm Brazilian. Sorry. Are, you're insulting my culture. <laughs> Uh, hey, I, I have performed many Brazilians in my life, okay? And I never heard about the dirty panty rule. Just on any Brazilians or? Uh, actually, on some Brazilians, but, you know. You I was just, uh, the, just so the chat knows, I was just telling the guys off camera that I use that excuse for every single horrible thing that I say. So, yeah. Gonna hear that a lot. I'm Brazilian. It works sorry. though. Yeah, that's, that's, I want it. In fact, I might just start using it. Oh, I'm sorry. English isn't my first language. Like that's what I know. Like, you know but you've got an accent. Like, no, language. I just sorry. I, I'm from another. I just learned English in England, and that's what the accent's for. Some <laughs> Americans might even, yeah. Word. Some Americans might believe. It. Yeah, he, he he talks kind of strange. He but definitely he, doesn't. It works though, because right. like if Disbrew says something, people are like, wait, what do he say? Like now that they don't understand him, but he says something just Disbrew. Yeah, like he's he's English. It's, it's fine. Like right, it took yeah. me a long time to get used to to the British accent. I my <laughs> first Friday night tights, I couldn't understand a word of what As was saying. Oh yeah, it was like oh no, oh, oh, oh. and I was like. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> he's, got one, he's got one of the easier to understand English accents as well. There's a lot worse than that. Th there is. You, you speak to like a Brummy or like Liverpool or I might say, oh. You know and who then you I get have... into Scotland, I can't understand the Scottish oh, or the Welsh. Yeah, Count yes. Dankula, I it's have to hard, be yeah. like listening super intently and read his lips at the same time because I'm like. Oh, again, he's got quite an. For a Scot, he's got quite an easy to understand accent. Some That's easy? Just, yeah. So, We've some had this talk really before, thick. X ray. Well, I, I and then we when I get drunk, about, like, it's like, <laughs> like, I don't know. Out, just, like, out the window. 
We were talking about like friends. what the hottest accents were, and I was like, Scottish is pretty hot. And then the next day's like, Scottish How do you understand them? That's, that's <laughs> you don't need advantage. to. It's the language I of like, love. I like Richard Madden. It's like he's moving his mouth, but it's Scottish. essentially keeping it closed. I don't know. For me, it's, it's, Scottish sounds kind of the equivalent of, uh, 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 of Southern for Southern for Americans. Really? Like, no, no. It's kind of, it sounds kind of redneck to me. It's like it's kids. the European redneck Scottish. I'm <laughs> sorry, Scottish people. It's okay. Know, they they the probably take offense. Would be. I'm I sorry. I'm Brazilian. Jibs. Ian, did you hear that? You're a redneck. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to be like... Never, I've, I've never heard the Scottish described as rednecks before. He's like, he's going to use that now, probably. <laughs> I mean, it is quite an aggressive accent. It's like the Germans. The Germans can say anything to... They could say, I love you. It sounds like they're going to punch you in oh, the face. Oh, they're good. Like, I, they I, I don't know. Like, oh, I, had, okay. I had a friend who was teaching her dog, like, manners in German, because her family was German, and she yelled, like, nine once, and I was like, she's like, no. Was, like, <laughs> <laughs> the dog wow. sat down. I sat down, too. Like, whoa. Yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we, like, I'll do whatever college. you say. What the, yeah, the, the German is very aggressive. Everything sounds angry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Same with that's a lot of Chinese The language dialect. of anger. <laughs> yeah, that's but true. I mean, at least that's the thing with Scottish. It sounds angry and they probably are about to hit you in the face. So it, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of a good warning. We need Ian to confirm. When I think of Scottish, so besides Richard Madden, I think of Chibs from Sons of Anarchy. And I just think of, like, I couldn't understand him a lot of times, I'll be honest. I just know when he'd be like, okay, Jackie boy. And that's all I got from him. Like I have a hard watch. time watching movies and, and 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 series and shows without captions because I, I, as you guys obviously can tell, I can have a conversation with you guys normally, but suddenly when people start acting, they like <laughs> they stop talking <laughs> like human beings. It's crazy, and I cannot understand without captions. Wait, so you don't watch it in dubbed in Portuguese? Sometimes I do. It depends. If it's old stuff from the 90s and 80s and early 2000s that I watched as a kid originally dubbed in Portuguese, then I, 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 I don't, I don't want to ruin that experience. I don't want to know how the original sounds like. To me, that is the original. But when, I, when I'm watching something for the first time today, then I watch with the original voice acting. Try to say this. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was listening. Don't you in my name Unterhose gematched? Something about underwear. Make my underwear or something? Oh, maybe they're trying to throw. I love how Disparu knows. Oh yeah. Look what, look what Camelot started. Now you're just gonna have a bunch of underwear thrown at him. Yeah. I have something <laughs> in my undergarments. Under I think it is. Oh, maybe they have a. I don't know midnight. what Gamact is or Dunge. A midnight? What? It well, goes from six to midnight? What's that? <laughs> the, the oh. Poon. It took the me a second. Poon. Oh. I like, I'm going to say it really quietly, but also <laughs> really loud. <laughs> ASMR penis. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Press the brakes too hard. No, we have. This was before we started. This one was for Dan. Thank you for the five, Steven. Hey, Dan, some guy was talking shit saying you eat. <laughs> it's not DLC. It's, uh, penis. Pen penis sandwiches, <laughs> but I had your back and told me you don't even like bread. <laughs> Thank you. I I really don't eat bread. Thank you. Are you keto? No, I'm just. I I try to avoid processed st stuff and and white. How do you say that in English? Yeah, white, white people. White me people. too. Me too. No, white, white white wheat. Is that how you say it? Yeah. It's like what, oh, everything yeah, like that's flour. how do you call stuff that is not whole grain? Uh, uh, we we just call it white bread. Yeah. Yeah, white bread. like white flowers okay. made with flour. Probably. Yeah, but in, in Portuguese we have a word that we use like for bread, for rice, for everything that's not whole grain. No, we'd have mm. white rice. <laughs> we just, we're, we're basic people. <laughs> it, no, we have I it too. It. But but we have this word that makes it easy. I'm, it's like I use it for all the types of food that are not whole grain. Dan doesn't I think like we'd probably white just say confirmed. not whole grain. <laughs> I had bread, Brazilian bread before, and I think Dan was in my chat when I was talking about it. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I said it again. He's like, we do have that, actually. Like two minutes later, he's like, you're right. <laughs> yeah. had cheese in the middle. It was really good. Oh, yeah. Pão de queijo. Yeah. Yeah, it's pão de queijo. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, was actually invented by, it, was act, it was actually invented in my state. Well, thank Whoa. you, because that bread is yeah. delicious. <laughs> it is. It, it is. is. Say it again. Pão de queijo. 
Onjakeju. Are you looking it up? No, I just wanted to say it. <laughs> <laughs> adorable. It literally means bread made of cheese. Oh, I love yeah. cheese. Me too. So when I saw that, I was like, yeah. I'm salivating. It's good. It's good. And it makes you fat. It's good. Aww. Yeah, I, I don't eat a lot of it. It has a, fat. has a ton of calories, even compared to regular bread. It has does. I had a calories. slice of it, and I was like, yeah. that was dinner. I can't eat anything exactly. else. Cheese, <laughs> cheese is basically just fat, isn't it? So that's what you're going to get. Oh, I love oh, cheese. That sounds oh, yeah. keto-friendly almost. <laughs> almost. Besides the bread. You well, can eat the center. It would be if it was just no, the cheese. No, it's pure <laughs> carbohydrate because it's still bread. <laughs> oh, God dang. I'll just eat the innards. You can just eat the inside cheese, don't worry. Yeah, then it's <laughs> next, just fat. Yeah. I'll, I'll give it to Wicked, the, the bread, and I'll eat the cheese. She's Italian, yeah. she can handle there it. Just I can handle the bread. Point. Yeah, I can handle the cheese and the bread. She's All American. Of it. You know what? Just <laughs> really, I don't need this from you. Italian heritage. <laughs> this is stolen valor. <laughs> I'm Italian-American. I, I invented there pizza. I did. I'm, I'm a quarter Italian. When was the last time you ate olives? Uh, well, like yesterday, I, oh, all the time. I, I cook with oh, it all the time. I, I, I tell like them about shots of the stuff, though. Would I take uh, shots? I mean, yeah, I would literally it. take oh, yeah. shots of olive oil. Um, yeah, that, I don't know. I'm out on that. Okay, so I'm not Italian enough for just brew yeah. because I don't take you're shots not, of olive oil. You, okay. Do you want to know why you're not Italian enough for meats? Because you're American. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <eating> life. <laughs> I told you I'm a simple person. My great grandmother was Italy, okay? Or so don't. In uh, with English as a second language. <laughs> yes. That's not me. <laughs> oh my goodness. So how how's everyone doing today? How is everyone Saturday going? I know we just spread a bunch of democracy, and me and Extra Girls ate food real quick right before the stream. Oh, this but... rule probably had his milk. I, I don't had have milk, no. <laughs> omasake, <laughs> which is like sushi made from like a oh. very talented sushi artist, I guess. Uh, chef, sorry, not artist. Okay, so fancy. What does sake mean then? Omasake. Is it just I rice? Uh, I don't know. It's the, the way the food I... is made. I don't know. I only knew sake <laughs> is like the, the alcohol. You're asking too no, much. No, sake is uh, the alcohol. I had oma sake. So yeah, it's like fancy sake, sh 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 sushi. And, um, and then I had Japanese whiskey. It was delicious. From the Yoichi. I didn't know they made whiskey. A Japanese whiskey yeah. is sake, isn't it? No, sake no. is made of. It's another thing? Isn't it's it like a, a different rice, type of rice. alcohol? It's a rice-based alcohol, so uh -huh. I don't know how they distilled it, but it was a single malt whiskey, um, and the region it's from is Yoichi, and it apparently has the same climate as Scotland, um, where, of course, a lot of people buy whiskeys. So it was interesting. So I always so thought it was the same thing. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Japanese whiskey is very close to Scottish. Okay, well, it's really it was really good, and I I was I so confused. Some. I feel like such a peasant because they brought the uh, the ounce of whiskey and then she brought the bottle too, so I could take a picture with it. But I was so confused. Like, She's do like, I just, just pour more? <laughs> like, no, thank you. I don't need I don't need the glass. I'll just take the bottle. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was really confused. Like, is this all mine? I'm not, I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> just grab the bottle. <laughs> I was tempted. Yes, but it'll be a much bigger bill. <laughs> um. Yeah. Wait, we got another a question for Dan here. Mr. Grant Gregory, thank you for the $2. Why do Brazilians always say come when they upset? Really? Oh, porra. Yeah. yeah. What? Can you say that, actually? that what that means? Porra. Can porra. you say that? <laughs> that do means it. come? It, Is it like, kind like come of, here? But it's like, it's like damn, but it literally means come. Is it kind of like <laughs> Benica, like in Spanish, like come? Like that kind of come or the other kind? No, the other kind. He's like, no. no. <laughs> I mean, it is swearing, like, presumably. Come here, so. come? No, no, no not no. Uh, 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 Oh, that is oh. X-ray girl. Semen. You want me to say it? I, I mean, we saw how the super chat was spelled. <laughs> it comes from it's the like, it, but But it's not considered, like, too too harsh. It's but just, it's just kind of like you guys saying, like, damn. But you say like, that. damn, said, yeah. Okay. God damn it. Just say, so, porra. Porra. Sounds so go. angry. I got it. I nailed it. No, you don't Actually, need to say it angry. Say you, it. Could, you, could, you could always say like an expression of admiration. You could say like, porra. Okay, when that's you see a hot girl. Girl. <laughs> Can we stick When to you that see one? a hot girl, you look, you, you look at her. 
Bochum? I, I think the internet See, just be melted weird. because you did that. I think so. You no, just, what, every you, lady in you the chat. Panties English? are being thrown at you right now. No, yeah. but imagine <laughs> the same thing in English, though. You just walk up to someone and just go, come? It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why I'm saying it's the equivalent of damn, because you can also look at a hot woman and say, damn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. 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 But I'm if gonna... you analyze the the meaning literally, it means semen. <laughs> You're just yelling <laughs> semen it everywhere. It oh doesn't my God. sound as nice. <laughs> we don't say it. In, yeah. <laughs> and you can you, you can always you, you can also tell people to go to semen if you're angry at them. You, you just go. Apapoja. <laughs> Here we go. We got I mean, more. We'll get to the other like, yes. guys. Don't worry. Gladly. Watch these lessons. Can you How say, do you this? say this? Vai pra puta que te pariu. That yes, didn't make sense to me. His neighbor said <laughs> that to him. His neighbor <laughs> said to me, vai pra puta que te pariu. Is she hitting on me? Then she walked. Uh, Estou cagando e andando. Okay. Is she hitting on him? Vai pra puta que te pariu means uh, go back to the whore that gave you birth. What? <laughs> and we have a similar saying, yeah. But... He's like, so she is hitting on me. <laughs> and estou cagando e andando means I'm I, I'm I'm defecating and walking Ew. at the same time. It, it oh. means that's uh, literally. It means your neighbor's disgusting. No, no, yeah. no. That that means I don't care. <laughs> what? I don't I'm, care, so I'm defecating as I'm walking away. I'm, defecating, I'm shitting as I walk. I don't care. <laughs> what is wrong with care. you Brazilians? <laughs> I mean, at least we say I don't give a shit. That's way better than I don't the give other. a shit. That's a, yeah. that's a close one. Yeah, Go, but it's Grant. like I'm shitting and walking. <laughs> I'm shitting. And You're walking. like no, I give it all. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, nothing. <laughs> Better I'm leaving a trail time, behind man. me. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew! So yeah, go back to the whore that gave you birth, and I'm shitting and walking. So she is hitting on you. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about um, if you talk to foreign people, and they kind of know what they want to say, but not the exact words, so they come up with their own phrases. Like, one guy wanted to say small, but he, he just kind of said, it, it, it's like... An elephant, but the opposite. And it's like, I kind of get what you're saying. That's, yeah, like, that's kind of smart. Yeah. They, they come up with you, new, unique phrases like that, just trying to try to get around the meaning <laughs> of something. Like, that's, that's I, I, that should be a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a tribesman or something. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. like an elephant, but small. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's like you only have no. so many words that you know. It's like, well, I've got to try and make out the, the meaning from those. <laughs> That's cool. Disparu, you read this one. It's a dad joke. I know you love them. Thank Cajun you for the five glory. Five dollars. Uh, Bigfoot sometimes gets confused with Sasquatch, yet he never complains. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good glory. Go. That's, that's like um, my favorite joke. Like that is uh, what was it? My wife laughed at me when I said I was going to build a bicycle out of spaghetti. Um, oh, what was the punchline? Oh, I can't don't believe ruin it. Oh, hang on. I'll, I'll come back to you in a minute. I'll come back to you. All right, we'll, we'll read Madmaster Porky. Remember for one month? Thank you. They had to be late oh, and no, gay, so yeah, Dan no, didn't no. feel out of place. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dan. I've got it now before so I forget much. it again. Yeah, like, my wife laughed at me when I said I was going to make a bicycle out of spaghetti. Uh, you should have seen her face when I rode straight past her. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <Pasta>. <laughs> Yeah, it took me a split like that. second. It took me uh, a second too. When he's like, pasta, pasta, my favorite dad joke. Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> I always I, that always reminds me of the pasta, pasta, relax from from the. Why are you gay? Have you guys watched the whole thing? Of no, what? I just know the, that. Why, are you, why are you gay? Yeah, there 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 comes a point that a, a pastor comes to debate with the oh with with the other person. And the, the, the pastor is like, they take a banana and they take a cucumber. And you know what they do? They do like it. I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what you they do. Do you know what they do with that it's cucumber? So uh, they, uh, they could, they could, what they do in the privacy of their own homes, their business. <laughs> and then the guy, the, the, the why are you gay guy, is like, pasta, pasta, relax, relax, pasta. And the <laughs> pastor is like screaming. 
Okay, the whole thing. No. Yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> the whole thing is great. It's fantastic. People concentrate too much on the why are you gay, but the rest is gold. Is it? It's it's even better. Okay. Yeah. We gotta give it more love. I love how saucy we're getting right now. <laughs> I know. I know. It's we're gonna blame we're, Dan. It, it's like <laughs> even though he's cartoon. drinking water. There's a cartoon of uh, a cucumber. It's like, oh, I'm being bought. I bet I'm going to be put into some great food. And it's like, why are all the lights out? <laughs> Cellulite Dream, thank you for the 199. Why is everyone so mean to Dan? Why does everyone call him gay? I don't it's get because it. It's, uh, because it's, you have nice hair. I think it was it's, the man one, it's wasn't a it? Cope. Was it Gary? It's a cope oh. with the fact that such a man can be real. Such a man can exist. No, 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 no. He must I can be just gay. hear Gary just typing in his phone a tweet right now. I have to say, the whole competition between you and Gary is like my favorite thing of the last few months. That just kept like escalating and escalating. Oh, uh, well, your tweet, I can't remember what it was, but it, it was so good. Um, The one where you were like, he was in prison. Oh, how do you like, yeah, was your, your cellmate got the na nickname Astronaut because he kept visiting Uranus. <laughs> I died for ages. It was so good. You Astronaut. guys are like the brothers that, well, I mean, I don't know if uh, you have a brother. Like, you guys never had. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, he's, my, he's, my, he, he, he's the great grandfather that I never had. Oh! <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Shout out, Gary. <laughs> I, I broke my rule. I broke my rule that oh, just respond to the shit. Now I initiate. Uh, <laughs> now yeah. I've initiated. Yeah. <laughs> so close. There will be repercussions. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Psychotic Mongoose, thank you for the two pounds. Congrats on 5k subs, Wicked. Thank you. Yes, congratulations. Nice. Over a year ago, I wasn't even at 1k, so it's just. Skyrocketed. Yeah. I love it. Thank you. We'll also, sub to Wicked Virtue and Dan Vask. We need to get Dan to Millie. There yes. You go. Yes. We got to get him there. His stuff is in the description, but I'm sure my mods will. And his gaming channel like... where he plays Thank eight you. pixel games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to put <laughs> today, that in there. Today, I did something that I never did before. I, I beat the Grim Reaper on Castlevania without any weapons. The people in the chat who know Castlevania. Know how hard that is. So not right. even with a whip? No, with the whip. Just with the whip. You know okay. Castlevania, Wicked? I do know Castlevania oh, a little bit. Yeah. Either that or she's really into whips. <laughs> she's just like, there's <laughs> <"Was laughs> any use to the no course of the game. game. I just had to ask okay. about the whip. I know everything about whips in every video game. <laughs> Indiana Jones is my favorite movie. <laughs> <laughs> if he has a whip, I'm playing it. <laughs> I'd like, because uh, you, you were talking about upscalers, what we would need is like a downscaler so that we can get you in Helldivers. I have. But you'll only play like 8-bit colors. <laughs> no, I have a I have a downscaler that converts digital to analog signal so I can watch Netflix old shows like uh, the original Star Trek. I can watch oh. it on a CRT <gasps> the way it was meant to be. That would I'm be so really jealous. interesting to run modern games through that and see how they turn out. Oh, yeah. So, hey, some of those like pixelated modern games. Yeah, I would yeah, love to see Because you can that. have like retro modern stuff. <laughs> which yeah. like, then... You should play exactly. all the Nintendo games like that. Because I know you you have well, a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh, you practice Mario Kart on your off time. No, but that mm -hmm. would be too much because <laughs> I, I already have the original stuff here. Now I will run it on Switch and then downscale it to uh, a CRT. No, I just I just play the original thing. And or Princess Peach? That's have what I was you... thinking about modern oh, stuff. Oh, you mean cause... Princess Peach? Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. A game that you don't have on like old school oh, retro style, you know? I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that way I, you I get to take that. advantage of like the trending games while also doing it in the style oh, you prefer. That's right. Yeah, that's a great yeah. idea. I would love to see that. It is. However, there you go. Those, good games, idea, those games don't run at 4x3. I would have to like... Squishy it. Squish the, the, the image or add those black bars on top. That just adds to the challenge. Everyone will be like you know, like yeah. I'm sure it's possible, though. Oh, <laughs> there's there's yeah. Ian. Do you know, did you hear what did you hear what Ian said about you? <laughs> hey, hey, just, hey, that, that shirt's that new. You guys like it? It's a nice shirt. <laughs> Thank you. At Is least that like deliberately has top? no arms. It's deliberate, like, yes. He did it on purpose. I didn't rip it off. Yeah, you know, I've, I've you seen can tell people not the that cuts. cut off the sleeves yeah. before. 
No, he just I've ripped them off, obviously. There's... He did such a clean rip, we can't even oh, see even, it. Oh, even sewed the seams back. <laughs> There's some situations that I think that's acceptable, like ripping like uh, ripping an old denim jacket. It could be, it, it could look cool. But no, like... yeah, distress your yeah, jacket. I, I do it shorts all the time. Or pants, a... like I'll cut them into shorts. Yeah, so I have fans that, that like no, ride right. clothes. But if you're buying new, if you're buying new ripped, new ripped clothes, that's too much. That makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, if you buy jeans pre-ripped, why? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean. No. You no. ain't cool. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> why are you gay? Get on our level. <laughs> <laughs> why are you gay? Here. Look, like, I, remember, I remember watching Tim the Tapman, and he literally had like a hoodie and t-shirt, and he just rips the sleeves off. He's like, no, I just like it like this. <laughs> you want to read this one extra? They sell those clothes. Sure. Uh, Jason Webster for Five Australian says, Hi to the warm and genial X-Ray girl, spirited wicked virtue, and the one and only Disparu. Let the fun known as Saucy Saturdays begin! I'm already getting sauced. Hi, hi to Dan, too. Yeah, Jason maybe so didn't long, know that Dan was here. Hi! <laughs> hi, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it repeat, didn't yell, come, that's what repeat 20 seconds <laughs> thank you for the five the scots settled in the american south so that it, it that is where the south got its accent Wait, i think ian missed nothing it similar, though. i can't tell if you're serious it's hard like, to tell the, the southern internet, american accent is attractive scottish no <sighs> it isn't you, see, you, you think the southern american accent is a uh, is attractive yeah like um no it's it? like there, when, there when was it's that a, whole you, you know the the girl I was talking about that she, when people were like, oh my god, she's a fa she's um, I can't yeah. remember what she's called, but she was like walking yeah, around the house and stuff. Uh, it's that like a, a cowgirl and, and stuff like that. I, I can't remember okay. what they're called. Is it is it the valleys? I can't. I don't know. I don't know my American localities. I I see what you mean. Um, the, the, the sort of like the country American accent here, that I like. Here, this is the southern accent. Just so you know. <laughs> Apparently, I'm trending on Twitter right now because some girl. Hey, Merle. Some girl. Oh. There you go. Yeah. I it, see. It's like this the sucky from True Blood kind of accent. Sucky. I can't. Yeah, not his. Not, girl. <laughs> <laughs> not his. I have to I say it like that show. every time. <laughs> sucky. But, I mean, he did for like eight like, series. If a hot woman speaking whatever accent, that's going to be attractive for a while. And then you forget. Then you see some ugly fat guy. Talking what? in that accent, and it's going to be a weird again. Term. <laughs> He's like, it's cute until a fat, ugly guy does it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Exactly. So, you weren't here for this, Dan. What's your um? What is like the most attractive accent then? Oh, yeah, for you. All the women are listening right now. See, I I still like, say like I'll Slavic. learn it. <laughs> <laughs> like Eastern European, I think still the best. I... Eastern European Russian. I guess like the Russian. I uh, I yes. I don't. I yes. Can't, Please say I that again. Tell the different, <laughs> I can't tell the difference from from a lot of American accents, but I feel that there is that West Coast way uh, of speaking that it's like it sounds the more, most normal American to me. Valley girl. That's like Kimberly Valley from Power Rangers? Rangers, like uh, how does she talk? Like, like oh my god, like that? Oh no, no, please, no, no. no. Then, that, that, then it's East Coast. No, then it's like, not oh West. Then, then I'm mistaken oh. for no. Then I'm mistaken for East Coast. Is it, it has, like, then it's East East Coast. That sounds the most normal American to me, and it's like yeah, that. Just speak okay. normally. So he likes American accent, is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Okay. No, he just like the, 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 it's because the... it's the it's the one I can understand more easily. <laughs> so, it's not wait, this was entire, this. this wasn't like I your favorite you. American. One. This was the most attractive it. accent in the world. It's attractive because I can understand and I can flirt back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, this was like, all right, I'll so give you like that like the one. American women, then. <laughs> First, like, I you never really women? stopped to think about an attractive American accent. Or, well, or any accent, accent in the any, world. Any accent, like, yeah. I said Australian, okay. like, British. There's a lot of women going so to the Australian when I, when I think attractive, is just speak as normally as possible. That's my... <laughs> if he can understand yeah. you, that's attractive. <laughs> no, uh, I could listen to... That's a downside, though, isn't it? It's like, please, please be as quiet as possible. <laughs> just speak as normally as possible, please. I could listen to Little Platoon for, like, ever. He has such a yes, nice voice. Got... Oh, my yeah, God. Sort of the, the I have to look him up. 
posh like, accent. Like I thought, the like English. I love Mahler's accent, but like little platoon is just sorry, Mahler. Have you heard Mahler do Welsh? Because he does, does obviously mean? being Welsh, he does a very good Welsh accent. But it's, the so Welsh either. accents are very musical. It's like very up and down. There's probably a video of him speaking Welsh at some. <laughs> okay, now I understand is that, is Dan's that problem with <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I just think it's a funny message. What accent does Google Translate speaks on? Um, like uh, I cannot tell. Like Google Translator, actual Google, Google Translator? Translator. Yeah. Hey, while you're while you're doing that, Raider dropped a bomb. Thank you, Raider, for the seventy-two oh, thirty-four. Thank you, Raider. I don't have He's my. He's not sound. painting the town red on the Halo and streams also, anymore. Don't worry, I'm not skipping everybody. But Egg Rolls here gets a ten memberships. We gotta give him a saucy. Saucy. But yeah, nice. on the video I posted, <laughs> Thank you, if you Egg skip Pro. to about 20 seconds, you'll hear Mauler doing a Welsh accent. Like a proper... Oh, top of the money. Uh, no, that would be Irish. <laughs> X-rays checking Google Translate. Okay, I got I got just like a a little tidbit. Hello, how are you? Mm. What Florida accent ball? is that? It's like a That's female good. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> it's a female robot. But so like, can said. you tell where that person is from that recorded that no that's that's ai <laughs> no i know but someone yeah, but some, someone accent, recorded yeah. a sample of their oh. voice in order to um uh, i have no idea i don't know maybe yeah. maybe the east east coast maybe he's right he just likes you know it's like it feels to me that the east coast is the, is like it feels like no accent it feels it feels like pure english pure american english this is disgusted in that. Oh yeah, American English. Just say regular English. Yeah, I corrected no, myself. Very quick. Attention. That was he did, he did. <laughs> Corrected myself. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. My I have wife. some of that disparu. I have some of that. Hey, in my isn't cupboard. it crazy that they found out that this guy visited that island? Well, well I cannot yeah, say yeah, the like, name. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. You say know what you're there. talking about. Yeah, yeah that could be he like. He took some particular flights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little no. bit sketchy. There's yeah. a case of like, what's he gonna do? <laughs> it's like, take him for. A... I... Yeah, that's true. I mean, um, I'm in anyway. the Eastern. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> we talk fast. There you go. Holy Taco City. It means Wicked's accent. She's East Coast girl. I mean, technically, yeah. Dan yeah. can understand me, so. I can. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> this room's like, nah, yeah. Russian. Yeah, it's like, why would you want to understand an American? <laughs> <laughs> So I, I still like the I'm walking here. It's I'm like, walking here. It's not here. attractive in the least, but you, you can understand it. <laughs> That's right. Speak we speak American. American. <laughs> Dan Vass is more American than some of us because he's got that one shirt, the Don't Try Dummy shirt that he wears proudly. Yeah. We see it. The, yeah. The, the wife beater, libertarian wife beater. Well, yes. you do find that a lot of people that learn the language have the accent of where they learned it from generally if they so if they travel to a particular area of america and learned it they will have the local accent um, yeah that's my that's why my accent's the weirdest shit because a little bit of everything it's just like it's a mix video games hollywood <laughs> shows uh, all kinds of stuff and i then i sound like this shakespearean indian <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be in that Romeo and Juliet movie. <laughs> oh God! There you go. We got diverse <laughs> Romeo here. <laughs> oh God, that casting. Yeah, but for both of crazy, them, crazy, right? Neither of for them make of any them. sense. Like Not the really. weirdest thing about the bloke, I can't remember his name, but Tom he Holland? looks. Yeah, Tom he Holland, looks like yeah. a forty. He looks like an old fourteen-year-old. That's the best way I could describe it. Like he, he looks permanently like a child, but like <laughs> a does. really old. You know, like. Uh, you'll see movies and stuff where they'll go past a black hole and they'll age really fast. He looks like that, like he's 14, but just aged 70 years in about 30 seconds. It's because it's because his head is too big. <laughs> and in that, he, look, in that picture, he looks like he's in Greece, not in <laughs> anything yeah. else. Like he would probably be perfect for Greece. He would be. He'd be a good Danny or or, or Kanicki. I think Kanicki. On really. The one on the left looks like um, what was it, Martha Jones? Who's that one? Oh, that is. A little bit. I have Martha right here. 
Oh, there you go. She kind of oh, does. Yeah, she, does. I was thinking, she looks so familiar. Where is she from? Yeah, in on other TV shows, um, that same actress has that hairstyle. So it looks even more like her. Yeah, and I, I heard uh, uh, about the chick on the right. I heard some people say, oh, uh, even people I respect, people in our corner, Oh, it's uh, people are being racist against this casting. It's not. It's, it's not. A oh, problem. she She's is black. Martha. Oh, oh that's why she looks like her then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, well, then. <laughs> well, then, yeah. But yeah, uh, but, uh, but it's not. It's not about she being black. It's just she, she's just not attractive. Yes. Juliet's supposed to be the pretty, one on like, the right. The and argument she's yeah. with this attractive. Is, do and you guys the, remember the the Flash show? Right, and they made yes. Iris uh, black, but she was pretty nobody i didn't there was not really an uproar about it because she was still just like attractive it wasn't that they just put like some dumpy chick yeah, it's and, worse you know, than romeo it's... and juliet these people this, are supposed to fall in love at first sight from across the room they should have yeah. just passed the, the most beautiful person he's believable. ever seen that's true yeah. they would have it would have yeah. yeah but that's what i'm saying i get what dan's saying it's not even about like the cut like we're all like used to the color swap now and it's annoying because we know they're not doing it because they actually care and they're they're just trying to you know, we we know what they're doing, but I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, but Martha's the... hotter. She is hotter. Yeah. Who, is Who is she playing? Who is she playing? Like, which character is she? And it's kind of a current day thing. It's always the the, the nurse, the, the bad. She's woman. just a random nurse. Oh yeah. Jeez. She's not. The, she's not some sort not of. Not even oh, mom. She's playing Juliet's like nurse, the one that um that like oh, helps her and sends, sends okay. messages between her and Romeo at oh, one point then, yeah never mind I, I was gonna say that it's a current thing that to to do the 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 villain the female villain pretty and not yes. the the but like yeah the mother? it's not it's not like the case yeah like Snow White yeah yeah okay. and she's supposed to be jealous of her <laughs> <You're> like, <"Hang laughs> yeah good luck with there that you go. <laughs> Tom Holland's Juliet there you go yeah <laughs> Yeah, Good Claire question. Danes. I I loved. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but I loved the Romeo and Juliet with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. I don't watch that for decades. It's it's been a while, but I liked it. I liked Was that, that one a lot. Was that the modern remake where they used guns? Yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah. That, that, I think I liked that at the time. We watched it. Oh, that was like that. fun. It was I liked good. that. It was like a nice difference. And they were both good the, looking. Um the any rendition of Romeo and Juliet. Well, it kept the original dialogue. Story, dialogue they just, and they everything. They just changed it so like the guns they used were just called swords. That was the brand. And so they could still call them swords. So and those, are, just, they those, put a those are reinventions. Those are reimaginings of classics that are actually cool. They're actually yes. interesting. When when you're, you're like, you know something I would like to, to see that being done to? Phantom of the Opera. Imagine Phantom mm. of the Opera, uh, like being like being modern a, world, being, being happening in the modern world with guns and 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 w with like maybe it's not a an opera house and it's a a, a movie theater or something like that. That that could be something interesting to do. The the only real reason I know Phantom of the Opera is because of Nightwish. I, I, oh yeah, I, it's. Uh, uh, I like the song, and so I looked into it. Introduced a lot the of metal people to Phantom of the Opera back in the day. Yeah. Awesome what? stuff, Nightwish. Oh yeah. Man. I can't Sorry. stop. My thinking teenage how years. Ugly she is. <laughs> I know. I know. She's not attractive. Why couldn't at all? they have gotten Halle Bailey? Even that's a step up. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Because she's probably like sixty odd now. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Oh, not the Haley Berry. Yeah, Haley Berry. The Little Mermaid. Mermaid. I was doing the same. It's, it's, it's well, so no, easy to confuse their no, names. No, 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 the Little Mermaid. No, I know the one you mean. No, no, we have the same one. issue. Martha it's... is more attractive than both of them. Oh, that's yeah. true. But um, Haley would have at least been more attractive than this lady. I'm sorry, uh, well, well, Miss yeah, Francesca. Like... Miss Francesca, but you just ain't it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, are you girls? Are you girls against giving? scores to a female's beauty no i was no. gonna say if you no. are you're idiotic <laughs> no we're not. i, mean, I don't this know it's a factual relative some... the world everybody does it everybody can do it yeah. and you can do it instantly there's it's usually obviously... within 20 seconds you could score mm -hmm. uh, yeah like there, obviously. there's obviously 20. subjective aspects to, to, to beauty <laughs> but there's a lot of there's more objectivity to beauty than most people like to admit hmm yeah. Well, it's gen it's generally about 
genetics. Like some people just yeah. have better genes than others, like the more symmetrical faces and stuff. There's things that everybody likes. And then there's sort of variants based off which genes match up with yours the most or where you think you are in the pecking order. So where you think your standards can go. So that influences it. But nobody looked at Kate Beckinsale and Underworld and thought, nah. I wouldn't. Like, not a single yeah. person in all of Earth <laughs> thought that. <laughs> yeah, True. it's uh, it's it's like it's a uh, evolutionary shortcut to to analyzing someone's health, like yep, the quality, the someone's quality, uh, uh, potential quality for f little ones mating, <laughs> mating, <laughs> mating quality. You know? Best survival genes, I mean, intelligence. You can you can get yeah. most of it from. Uh, is that is that. that person gonna is that person going to be helpful to, to in in my life or is she is she gonna uh, hinder? You know, I I even think okay. there's something where um, as people get involved in things that they shouldn't do or they engage in more like sort of evil activities, it tends to show on their faces. Uh, and uh, you see this like in Star Wars, they hint at it that when you go to the dark side, it ages you. But the more you look at people and like you've done some horrible things, you're like, you, you changed. In like four years, you aged and it really shows on their faces. And in you only have to look at why do we think that all these nutters walking around, why are they all associated with like blue hair, pink hair, red hair, <laughs> massive eyes, right? This shows on your face. Massive. Uh, it's They're like, just like yeah, this man. all the time. The, your physical features do show things about you. Well, and it takes more muscles in your face to be angry or sad. And whereas it have your people, you know, you can tell like the smile lines and whatnot. Like, you know, mm -hmm. you can always tell Absolutely. in a crowd, this person yeah. looks nicer. So I'm going to go ask them the question, like, where's this place or something Happiness like that. Happiness <laughs> leaves traces on your face. It does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. And you have the whole thing with like makeup and people are like, oh, no, I put makeup on for me. It's like. Do you, okay, so why are you putting makeup on your face that makes you look more fertile? Like nearly all of makeup is just about fertility. Like yeah. rosy cheeks when you're um, during your fertility stage, you have rosy cheeks. You, you flush. Uh -huh. Younger. And so that's what you're imitating. Yeah. Um, and it is a case of no, I just put it on for me. It's like what you're just making yourself look more fertile for yourself. Of that's course. Yeah. How, <laughs> dare you? How dare you assume? So you're, you're not going outside. You know, no one's going to see you. Do you put makeup on? Because that's what you'd do if it was for yourself. You wouldn't Listen. have makeup, no makeup on at all if it was just Some, for you. Sometimes if I get like a new eyeshadow palette, I want to play with it when I'm by myself. And I do. Yeah, but what are you doing? You're practicing. So you put it for when you put it on in public. You know what's funny? Yeah. I actually wear more makeup in my house than I when I leave my house. Yeah, but you're married. of this. <laughs> like work. So, so the person you're putting it on for is in your house. That's a bit different than if you're single. Oh no, I don't. But there's like also makeup. there's also a message. <laughs> there's also a message that you give to your own brain when you don't look your best when you're alone at home. You're kind of sending a message to yourself too, like I I am not worthy of looking my best to myself. Yeah. Too. There's also there's also that. But I get just Bruce's point that it's like uh, I'm gonna look fertile for me. That, yeah, yeah. No, nobody that, like that doesn't dresses up and just walks around their house for no reason. <laughs> doesn't happen. Yeah. No, there's some truth to what Dan's yeah. saying though, because I've watched like, we'll just say like videos like where people will say if you're not feeling your best when you wake up and you're feeling kind of down, like it, like women in general, will be like, do your makeup. If you're not going anywhere, just do your makeup, do your hair, get dressed, just do it, and you'll feel better. Like even if you're just home. So I you get what, what Dan's saying. Like it's just sometimes I get what Disperu is saying too. You're not wrong either. I'm just saying I get both sides to it because some women do kind of just like they just want to feel good. No, for me, like a, a day, what makes you know? me feel good? And then they'll good? post a selfie for everyone else to look at. <laughs> uh, a bath, a hair mask, and my face mask. And, mm. well, back when I was drinking, a glass of wine while I was in the tub. Perfect day. Great. And then yeah. I do a scrub, you know, I make myself oh, yeah. feel good. Inside and out. There you go. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Something something I had to 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 fight against for a while is like l just looking like a homeless guy when I'm alone at home. It was I like just gave in. I what does like, that look? This is it's what like, I look like. It was, it was actually. It, oh, it's like uh, I'm I'm barely wearing any clothes, and it's like You're still barely wearing. The girls any clothes. are just like what? Well, huh? Wait, hold on. <laughs> not even not, that. Don't stand yeah. up, Dan. Don't stand up. <laughs> I'm not wearing. <laughs> No, today I have underwear. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, no, <laughs> not wearing underwear, not not even putting a For flip flop, and then my my the the sole of my feet will look like this is, uh like I had a a, a, a flip flop, but I don't. So yeah, the uh ac actually looking decent, like a, only today, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Underwear <laughs> for, for <laughs> swimming zone. <laughs> But yeah, actually looking decent when I'm by myself at home, it, it actually did something for, for for my mental health, for sure. I remember I said, yeah. that, school. I said once what? he organized his house and got all the stuff out, like a lot of the toys and just put them in a storage unit, it was like it really helped him mentally. It was like just oh. getting all of that organization out, just shifting it away. So. For sure. That, 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 helps, that, that helps her mentally. <laughs> 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 That's what Jordan Peterson keeps talking about. Yeah, like, tidy your room. Uh, Marie Kondo. Yeah. 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 And yeah. making your happy. bed in the beginning of the day no. before, like, that's a bit the start of it to always make your bed. I do that now. I, I do wonder how much about that is just, like, because you've tidied your room or just because it, it you're doing something which is a benefit to you and so you get all the reward stuff, which makes you do other things. <laughs> it's a little so bit of yeah. both. Because uh, people say that uh, people who live by water are generally happier because it's relaxing hearing the sounds, seeing the ocean or the water. Uh, so I think it's a bit of both. It's like psychology of, um, you know, uh, being a human. Nature is going to bring you a bit more peace than being in a city with a hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. So I think oh, that I if you have a cleaner environment. Yeah, <laughs> living on, on on a clean environment, I I, I would bet had have similar effects than what you're describing. Mm -hmm. Like I love like does anyone else here like if you go camping, don't you love to just like wake up in the morning, have your coffee outside in nature? It's so relaxing and nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh -huh. it's awesome. There, there was a it's guy awesome. I was watching. He he like turned Let's his van into just a house <laughs> and then just drove into the middle Let's of the forest it. and said, "I can be here all week and no one cares." <laughs> and but he did the same thing like he started a fire and stuff and i've always thought the the closer you can get back to like what you evolved from the probably the more happy you'll be a lot um, of people who yeah. camp and do like hiking like i will say when i go hiking without a phone and internet service it's probably the happiest i'm ever yes. even though it's physically torturing mm -hmm. i feel like Actually, crap but big it's cities big cities are something super new in in yes. human history they like, like you, you civilization itself uh, Fucking nerds in the chat are gonna fact check me on that, and please feel free. But I think the Mesopotamians, uh, which are the the oldest civilization, they are just like thirty thousand years old. Thirty thousand, yeah, thirty thousand years. Wow. Ago, well, and it's like that is nothing compared to how long the 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 human being exists, which is millions of, of years. The, the kind of cities that we have now only really existed for like the last 140 or something uh, with the Industrial Revolution l allowed everyone to stop farming. And so they could all live in a small area yes. and everyone else would farm for them. That is um, and so that's really close. Th this is like a couple centuries. It's like one yes. second in, a, in, in evolution history. One so it second. It wouldn't even be that. Like, it, yeah. it wouldn't even really affected you. Uh, evolution does happen faster than people think with certain effects but not something where you've had all of this time to evolve. And then uh -huh. it's like, oh, here, here we are. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. Yeah, so we, we still have our, 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 our bodies and our brains, brains from the time we were enjoying nature still. And we, we, we were not like just uh, piling on top of each other in big cities. It's not healthy. Well, there's no. been lots of research. There was research done with rats where uh, they'd live in a certain area and they're all fine. And then as the population increased and increased because they kept feeding them more food, once they hit a certain limit, they didn't do anything. They stopped mating. They just sat in corners. Um, they started, like, jerking off. It, it, like, they did nothing. That sounds like today. <laughs> yes. Well, yes, exactly. It's just once... And, and the thing is, uh, a lot of people think of, like, the world as one unit. It's like, no, it's more about locality. So even if you just said, like, Birmingham, the people would still behave the same way in Birmingham, even if the rest of the world was fine. Just because there's too many people in one area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> hold on I'm gonna get a couple of these super chats because they're like building up sorry guys we're not forgetting you we're just having a nice conversation we didn't even really get to any topics yet but that's that's what happens here <laughs> sounds like a normal sauce sounds yeah, like a yeah, yeah, Saturday like a <laughs> Jason Webster thank you for another five I love Korean food last night for dinner I had what's that word next ray uh, 
Um, it's like I'm not noodles? even trying. <laughs> it's on the face. It's Korean, no. so I, okay, I don't know Korean as well. Noodles and black bean sauce. Oh, okay. Kimchi and wash it down with soju. Yes. I don't know if I said that right. Thank you. That, that sounds, sounds yummy. Good. And and this one's for Dan. Uh, Dan for Dan to read. Thank you for the two dollars, Corey. Acha falaya. You might That's have gotten not, it. I, I didn't get it right. I would have said that means. That's not a Brazilian Portuguese word. No, it's not. It's like, I hope it's not go. a... It's, it's, it's a... Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's it like, means uh, a long river. It's an American Indian word. Okay. Well, okay. there you go. Then I did and it listen, right like this. Justin okay. Martin, thank you for the five. <laughs> Hola, Ow. Senor Dan. I just subscribed to your channel. Hope this helps thank with you. your bet with Nerdrotic. Oh, wait. Oh! Never mind. Oh. <laughs> wow! Well. Justin! To be fair, Dan could, have won, Dan could have won that anytime he wanted and just decided. Yeah. No. <laughs> wait, 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 Dan, Dan, Dan right. was yeah. not Dan enough. got it right. Can you imagine how many makes that bet? Man, motherfucker makes that bet the whole meaning of his entire life. And it's like. Chill, yeah, but man. You could have You're the one, one that song. started it, to be fair. Like, chill, man. Like, it was. Imagine how many subs you'd yeah. get from a Helldivers 2 song, right? like right now. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. But dude, that bet got me tons of Twitter followers. It's like nice. Because oh, I'm not surprised. Gary, Gary dominates Twitter in our space. Yes, he does. Right? I, Every tweet he has, it's like, <laughs> yeah. dang. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's got great tweets, so, though. That got me a lot of exposure. Oh, we gotta. <laughs> from uh, him calling you sweet, gay all the time. A yeah. Sweet German <laughs> here. I need to follow. Elfie for twenty. Thank you. I'm very sweet and peaceful, even though I'm German. Only when Dan emphasizes power in his video outros do I cringe and go to the gym. I, I, oh. I don't know. <laughs> no. oh, it's like, I say I, power. Yeah. Well, this is the, this is this is why it's like I'm very sweet and peaceful. It's like yeah, I tell you like you, you tell someone I love you and like eat liberty. It's like you know. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> there is no sweet and peaceful way of speaking oh. German. Speaking yeah. of hell divers, ICBM Steve for five. Thank you. Said Dan. Have you checked out Jonathan Jung? We are the hell divers metal song. Wait, there's actually no, lyrics. I have not. I haven't either. I, I've, I've seen a few Helldivers songs where they've added their own lyrics. Yeah. Oh, okay, so there's, there's no actual lyrics. There's they at least may a okay. Of metal songs that i've heard done people Some do people that a lot with recent things. games that are are uh, uh up there in the algorithm they do they do like songs themed after those games oh, okay and i mean hell divers is like hell divers is themes. the biggest game right now so right now it yeah. is it or is stellar blade i want that i don't have a it, ps5 that won't be though. the biggest game because it's only I on play PlayStation. It. i know i know i think like, that's a fault of uh, these exclusives it like is. You should release them on all platforms. Why restrict yourself from making I'm money? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want a PS5 just for this game. I watched Extra Girl play it, and I was like, "That is probably like the future." I, I think releasing uh, on PC uh, is exclusivity yeah. in, in in consoles is slowly dying, and it will mark the beginning of the death of har gaming hardware. In other words, consoles. It will I mark the. I, I think so. Uh, uh, one day, we're probably not too close to it, but one day. I, I don't think it will because consoles kind of, they have the lower end market. Like if you want to build a PC for that kind of price, it's you, very a lot harder difficulty. I mean, you can do it, but it, it you know, you, it requires a lot more knowledge than just buying a box. I um, think Nintendo will stay on the console war for a long, long it's time. It's because, because it's like marketed towards children, and it's poor. Yeah. And, it, and it's also like they're and doing Jeremy. their their own thing. They got <laughs> out of the rat race, and it's like, uh, but now the they're doing the, their own thing. That's the thing. PC and console don't compete because. If you want to be if you want to be PC and you can, then most they would already have moved on from console to PC. So I think it's two separate mm. audiences. Whereas Xbox and PlayStation directly compete, and you have one or the other, and so the mm -hmm. exclusives it, it makes sense for those, but not against PC. But something and this has been my this has been my attitude for years, and people are like no no oh we can't do that we're exclusive for what matter, and now everyone's like no actually. <laughs> Nintendo yeah, made something for PCs, they'd make a lot of money. Because people would still buy Switches and all that for the kids. Because kids don't normally have PCs, but the adults would mm -hmm. buy more that don't have a Switch would buy more Nintendo products for their PCs. Even if it's yeah. just their old stuff. What, yeah. What leads oh, yeah. me towards the, this this sort of sort of prediction that I think it's it, it, it's going to take a long time to happen, sure. But I, I think it's sort of inevitable. It's because... 
we're sort of stopping to evolve in terms of hardware. That the yes. the the PS5 is very very similar to a PS4 Pro. So yep. it, it, and it's like you, you can tell this also by the the size of the generations too. We had like uh, the PS4 gener generation was about 10 years and remember the 90s like 1990 you had the NES. The NES was still around because the the Super Nintendo is from 92 I believe. Yeah, I think so. So you have in the 90s you have NES, 92 Super Nintendo, uh 95 96 PS1 and the N64 and in 2000 the very end you had the PS2. So it had four generations in 10 years. You have four generations in one decade. Now we had like uh in 10 years we had one generation lasting the, the these whole 10 years. Oh. I hate that because it holds back PC gaming as well because they make the graphics and stuff for the consoles. And so right. they don't move forwards until there's another console and then everything leaps forward on PC as well. Um, but even in PC, like each generation is like 10% or something. GPUs are still advancing, but not CPUs. Where there is mm -hmm. the advancement is like the handholds. Uh, the hand is that a Steam Deck? No, this is a ROG Ally. Oh, okay, um, cool. So it, this, uh, the, might... Steam, the Steam Deck Huge. is... Uh, Linux, whereas this is just Windows. Uh... Uh, but because it's all on a chip, they're taking like what the way mobiles have been done, where everything is just on one chip, like the GPU and the CPU are together, and now they're putting into the handhelds. And so there's still a lot that these can do. And so I think these will accelerate as um, simply because of mobiles and stuff. Like all of the, the money from mobiles is going into stuff like this. Uh, I, I think these will advance a lot faster that. than PCs and things. What was I'm That's curious now? What was everyone's first system that you had and the first game you ever played? I'm curious Ooh. for uh, everyone. Um, <laughs> the Game Boy and Tetris, the the black and white Ooh. Game Boy and Tetris. Yeah, uh, mine too. The Game Boy and the... yeah, I had Tetris and uh, um, some. I never had a game. game Boy. Yeah, so I went the... from Game Boy to SNES to PlayStation to PC. My first, first was one. Oh, you go, no, ahead. go ahead. No, 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 no. You go ahead. Oh, Your first one uh, Nintendo 64, Mario Kart. But the first one I owned myself was a Game Boy Color. The first, So the first game I ever played was oh, my God. brother's Super Nintendo. And I played um, Street Fighter, probably the one that came out in like 94. I was only four and I learned the Chun-Li kick and I started beating him. And he was like, I don't want to play with her anymore. She's cheating. I was four, though. My mom's like, oh, it's just. Play with your sister, come on. Um, and then I got the 64. That was my first system. And I was like, it's mine. It's not my brother's. This is mine. I got the jungle <laughs> green. I was so happy. Um, yeah, the jungle green 64. I wish I still had it. My mom got rid of it and the Super Nintendo, and they could have gotten fixed. And I miss them. Oh, my well. I remember my my jungle green Super Nintendo, my cousin spilled soda on it and my reset <gasps> button was stuck no it didn't break just the reset button didn't work and i was like ah whatever i spilled it was, like, it was like a part of the story it was part of the lore oh geez but yeah we got so some old was, schools was in the in the i chat love it i saw some atari, atari yeah atari. Nice. NES. What was cool the stuff. Duck Hunt See, my on? My brother had an Atari, but I Duck, Duck Hunt, Hunt was, was on the NES. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, my grandma, my cousin had Duck Hunt, and I loved playing it because the dog was so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. I have There's it. There's a horror version of that on Steam if you want to get it. <gasps> it's VR, though, I think. I heard about it. Crazy. I played it. I have. I don't have my VR set up anymore, but when I did, um, what was wait? What was yours, Dan? You didn't say it. The Game Boy. It was yeah. the Game Boy. Like, you did say like that, du okay? Like Dispro, the original black and it's not really I've still black got and white. It's four shades of of, of puke green. And yes, it, I want to. Awesome. I wouldn't have it any other way. I want to resurrect exactly. my games because I know there's a battery inside those games car game cartridges for That's your what saves. I've heard. I, my heart dropped when I like I played on Game Boy Color, a po old Pokemon game, and I played for like two hours, turned it off, saved, whatever, turned it back on, gone. And I was like, what oh, the yeah. heck? There, the, nowadays, there's a device that you can buy. I, 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 I'm blanking on the name, but someone made it. Uh, it's, it, it's a device that you put your, you, your cartridge and it connects via USB to your PC, and you can save your childhood Game Boy saves on your PC oh, so you forever. Like back up. That's cool. Uh, you can back that them up. That is cool. And I need to buy that because I have a save on my Pokemon Yellow right there that I where I have 150 Pokemons. It took me more than 200 hours. 
Wow, I, I, honey. I, I, but I needed I to have the, the three versions, yellow, blue, and red, and to uh, and change between them and to buy an, another Game Boy to trade Pokemons between the versions like a fucking loser with no friends. But I got it. Oh. I got <laughs> 150 Pokemons in 200 hours. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. We got... Okay, real quick. We got a couple memberships. Thank you, David, Jesus, and Emilio. <laughs> Gotta say it like that. Emilio! Thank you so much for the memberships, guys. From uh, uh, Night at the Roxbury, when he's like, I saw Emilio Esteban on the phone, and I was like, Emilio! <laughs> 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 I get it. I get the reference. Sorry, guys. I know we're, we're we're having such a good conversation. So I'm not. I promise that we will get to the super chats. Don't worry. Um. Should we should we bring up a topic? We're an hour yes, in, we and we didn't talk. Uh, what, what, let's talk about one? gaming since we're ta on. The yeah. Should we do the games. Stellar Blade? Oh, what, not, <laughs> fra not not France insulting attractive people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I, that, that, oh. I don't even know what it's about. Holy moly, before Raider was like, but hold on a second, I'm going to let you finish. But 10 memberships. Thank you, Raider. Saucy. See, Sorry, we're not doing enough of the saucies, guys. Thank you so much. All right, you got, um, oh, here, do you want me to bring it up? Oh, you got Very it. Never mind. Good. All <laughs> right. So I played the demo. I freaking love the demo. Uh, uh, it was like a Dark Souls game meets a Genshin Impact is the mm. best way I could explain it. So hot Asian women uh, and difficult battle techniques. And big booties. <laughs> and big booties. <laughs> Mouth and show ring the would have been a big, bigger success with this character. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I mean, I, I just thought it was crazy that people literally thought this game was gonna hurt women because they can't reach the standards that the model uh for the game uh is and i mean but she's not even a that. real female she's technically a cyborg so it's not human dude they, they that, don't that's genuinely such a, believe that's, her. that's such a loser thing to say because it's like oh women are oppressed with those unrealistic uh uh i i ideals of how we should look and then you move to He-Man, <laughs> like <laughs> Hercules, all those heroes. And it's like, and man, I'm looking at them and it's like, hell yeah, got to hit the gym. <laughs> what, <laughs> game, what game was it? Was it this game that they modeled it after, like an actress? Yeah, and she actually looked woman. like that? Yeah. And she the, actually looked like a real different. woman, yeah. The body's the same. Well, remember the big uproar for the, uh, the Spider-Man, um, I think it was a variant, where um, I actually did the Mary Jane cosplay, not quite like this, but I based it off of that where she's holding the cup uh the coffee and she's sitting on the couch and she's, oh, yeah. she's like got a worried look on her face and he's like in the background people there was like an uproar about that like women don't actually look like that and then a bunch of women were like cosplaying it like well actually this is how i look, <laughs> well, and they look like that. And he's like women do look like that sometimes well, right, i'm well, gonna this just leave the, the game they've up. been fat their entire life yeah and so the they, they don't know what a normal human being looks like it is literally um, you know, you know how there's always always a stereotype about how a really attractive woman will just have an ugly friend. It, it's the same thing in reverse. You have now filled the gaming industry full of women that don't want to work on characters more attractive than themselves because it makes them feel insecure. And so you had a yeah. load of really insecure people going, "I don't like this because I don't look like that." It's like, well, maybe if you laid off the pies, you might. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Put the pies down and back away. Yeah. Put the pies down and go find out how the inside of a gym looks like. <laughs> Try a well, cucumber or something. And that's the funny Try part. Cucumber. Like, they they are so they upset. Tried the cucumber. I and would... <laughs> they're so upset and mad about this, but if they got fitter, they would probably be a lot happier. You know, exercise gives Absolutely. you endorphins, and endorphins make you happy. As yeah, a, you, a lovely you, elbow once said. You, your body's so connected to your mind, and, and, and it's like the health of your body reflects on the health of your, uh, of, on your mental health, really. Yes. It's, it, it's like, I, I even now, um, and anyone could do it, right? Because it, it, I think it takes about two weeks for like your gut bacteria to starve to death, and then you're back to something else. If you just give up carbs for two weeks and then start eating them again, you, you end up like, oh, oh, this feels awful. And you, you feel like depressed because you're low energy. Um, your entire mind is like numb. You can't think as fast as before. And it's only when you give up this stuff do you actually realize what you should be feeling like but if you've done yeah. that thing 
and years. There literally are studies, like um, not observational, like meta analyses of people linking carbs to inflammation, which links mm -hmm. to cancer and heart disease. Uh, it, it's it's in my wrist. If I eat like McDonald's regularly for like a week, my wrist swells up and I can't move it. There you go. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That, that, wow. That, that's, that's super it, it was that that put me onto carbs m make me inflamed. Because um, now, like even now, my hand cl clicks and stuff. It's just because of carbs. Um, if I lay off them, then my wrist has way more movement. Mm-hmm. That's why diets That's like keto, if you can do it, like make you significantly happier and less bloated and prevents diseases. Now, if you can't eat meats, I understand why you wouldn't go on that primarily, but you should try to uh, at least give up the white breads as there you go. It, Raider why... for 1776. Eat more meat. Thank you, well, Raider. Exa exactly. <laughs> it's why with me, it's like I'm not keto, but I try and eat as few carbs as possible. Um, because I had RSI. Um, and so I was doing I was looking for anything that would make it better. And it's only because I was already like aggravated. It's like you can tell what really pushes you over the limit a lot more when you're already annoyed. Um, and so that put me onto it a lot. And I just found like carbs make me feel awful and they mm. really affect my body. So what I do is I I have everything in moderation. Like I do, I mean, clearly I like my I don't pasta and my pizza. I for me it does. I don't. I, I just do it in moderation. But um, like I said, I'm but, I can't not have my pasta or pizza sometimes. I don't I, have it I all the time. Like but you have a line of like where it'll begin to affect you. And so if you're normally like here, it's like well, it'll still inflame you, but not to the point where it's impacting your life. Um, mm -hmm. but it's still bad for you, kind of thing. And this is where I got the whole thing of if you act and includes eating more like what you evolved to eat then you will be better for it and things like corn and farming procedures as a whole are incredibly new to us as a species we've only been doing that relatively recently for evolution whereas we've mm -hmm. been eating sort of berries and meat for way longer fresh than like foods if your food mm. lasts for a very long time in a container it probably isn't as good for you processed yeah yeah and also the thing about carbohydrates is that most of us don't spend that energy that carbohydrates produce and it's like uh uh then, uh, then you you have those weird effects that, that that because you were not made to ingest that without having an output you, mm. you're just adding stuff to your body without an output and yeah that's n nothing good will come from that i have to eat a, a lot of carbs because of, uh, of uh bodybuilding it's uh, i'm one of those freaks that weights ev everything weights all the food uh, I have a uh, one of those scales, little kitchen scales. You guys have that in America? Ooh, to weigh, mm -hmm. yeah, to weigh they like how scale. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, weigh every I know what he's talking tools. about. <laughs> I know what yeah, you're talking about. You have, I don't know, America. <laughs> just Peru, Americans measure stuff with their feet. It's like, oh, I, yeah. no, I have to ask. I'm going to have a gallon right? of this drink. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I have to ask. But yeah, I, 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 I just. I control every single calorie that, that I eat. I'm, I'm one yeah. of those freaks. But because well, I eat a bunch of carbs, because gorging. I spend them, I spend that energy in the gym. Uh, and but it's like most most people, most people don't live the the kind of lifestyle that yeah. That I get that. To my my brother carbohydrates. Oh, my wow. one brother is like super into <clears throat> bodybuilding and like he's big on like protein and meats and stuff, but he does have carbs. Cool. Sometimes he just doesn't <gasps> indulge a lot. And he's like, like he's been in competitions. He's freaking jacked. Oh, that's that, awesome. He's like, can I see I like a picture? <laughs> that's why I like it when people are like, oh, sure. so you, you, you must just have a high metabolism. It's like, uh, so you think their body breaks the laws of physics, do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my like, brother does you, not. You just got a unique like, body that he's... can somehow burn energy without doing anything. <laughs> I don't think he skipped a day at the gym for like the last 10 years. He's never missed a day at the wow. gym. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. He, awesome. Like I said, he's that's freaking like, <laughs> so that's I, always I, where I, I see him. <laughs> I have a. I, I mean, I don't know what X-ray girl's doing, garage. but this is about two FPS. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she was gonna. Be, she was gonna get into the conversation, and she's had quite a bit of uh, vodka. I saw her the, refill. The, the computer is like drunk too. I was looking <laughs> at the computer drunk. Put it on her. Ass. 
<laughs> I was looking uh, at the jiggle physics. Pretty. The jiggle yes. physics are great. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. of course now my <laughs> signal research. is better. Let's listen to these. Continue watching. The technology oh, yeah, is fascinating. I love X-Ray's face. Like I love when I walk in and, like on, or come into her streams and she's like really focusing. She's always got the same face. <laughs> Just, it's so cute. <laughs> I want to cosplay as like both of them because I like the uh, green outfit. It, it's giving like Jade from Mortal Kombat, but the good ooh, version. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you girl, you girls gonna wear that? Maybe he needs to know for, he needs to know for research. <laughs> yep. For research I mean, there's. I, 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 I would prefer to buy it. So. I'm sure, uh, you know, places haven't started making this outfit yet, but I definitely would love that to clearly wear it. Makes you, that making clearly it. brings you a girl's happiness. So I encourage It does. You. I'm working <laughs> on a cosplay right now that I have to make. I'm not going to say what it is. You guys will see it when it's done, but I actually have to make it. It's not this. Sorry. But it's going to be cool. Well, you one, the, what's the point? <laughs> you got to wait. You'll find it. It's like that it too. If he's not Stella Blade, why bother? <laughs> Mike has just been talking about food the entire time. <laughs> husband happy. <laughs> a happy husband is good too. <laughs> he's like, don't worry. There you I'll go. get it for you. That's wait, why I make sandwiches. I will know the, Hold he's on. Like, I will know the instant it comes out. He's got an alert set up on Google. Choose... Two's nose. Thank you for the five. Hail Car Carbrutus. It was nice of Wicked to invite you on. I don't get it. <laughs> Are they mixing that, Carbrutus, uh, Carbrutus the other the Brazilian? <laughs> yeah, Carbrutus was... There's 200 million Brazilians, but yeah, uh, I'm Cabrutus. Yeah. Hey, it's because, like how oh, okay. I'm every Asian. It's <laughs> fine. Are. It's I, any, anytime something Asian comes out, I'm like, actually, what does that say? Like, you just see me do it. She's like, I, I don't really speak that, but you know. <laughs> You've got a math sum, you just send it to her. <laughs> Jendine, thank you for the four ninety nine. The Southern is the best, and we are friendly. Southern people are go. very friendly. Um, MTV Steve, thank you for a five. U.S. West Coasters from California just run our words together, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, like surfers. <laughs> dude. Uh, AP, thank you for the five. <clears throat> Coastal accents are unique ish. What is heard most in movies in Midwestern? Okay, so that's probably why mm. that's what Dan likes because that is probably the more common one in like american so that's the movies one. yeah okay you want to read some of these x-ray and sure uh jadine for 1999 how did modern robin hood working work out i, I was assuming uh, he means robin with a y uh she robin hood the, oh, grabbed that, that the show? food and did a curl actually i have no idea Oh, because you're we talking about if they did like uh, modern, like Fan of the Opera and stuff. Like, okay, not well, modern, Robin like Hodge our modern times, modern. but yeah, yeah. That show is not shitty because it's in modern times. It's shitty for a bunch of other reasons. So. Yeah. The story was crap. Well, yes, and Robin Hood was the villain, and the sheriff that, that they tried to make out. Well, not the sheriff, but what was it, Prince? John, I think they named him. He was the hero. He was the best. Oh, thing please. About that. The actor saved the entire show. I want that guy in everything. He should be recast in everything. Um, I think so of the, worst the Robin but Hood, the Disney one, and Prince John was not nice. He put babies in the dungeon, okay? He's not a good guy. In Robin Hood, there was a scene where the police arrested them. They took them to a black site, put them in a room, and then electrocuted them in a bubby, bunny rabbit outfit for no reason oh, whatsoever. Oh, that was what you were for Halloween, right? There's no warning. There's just a guy in a, well, a woman in a, in a bunny rabbit outfit comes out with an electric cattle prod. And you're supposed to think, there's no way this is meant to be a comedy. Best this Robin Hood the adaptation. Best. best Robin TV Hood adaptation. Rab, 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 rab. It's Robin Hood and, men, and the men in tights. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah that's Hood a good one. Hood. That's that's a great one. Yeah. I think most men people will agree with that one. It, it's funny. Um, what's this I one? It's saw called... that when I was way too young to see it. Probably, I've seen a lot of movies when I was way too young. My mom was very like, "Yeah, that's okay." And but the thing <laughs> is, part of it was like okay, I would say, because I didn't understand a lot of it. Then I watched it as an adult, and I'm like, "Mom, like, like Pretty Woman, for example." My mom, I loved that movie growing up, and it's about a freaking hooker. And she, there's like a line in it. Yeah. She's like, "Kit," she's like, "Kit made turning tricks look glamorous." I didn't know what that meant when I was like seven, <laughs> and I watched it as an adult, and I was like, "Mom," and she was like, "What?" You didn't my, know. my mom blamed the bill for everything. It was like a, a local police show over here. And apparently that made me ask all of the questions really early. Like, what's her? Like, mom, 
what's a prostitute? And she's like, <laughs> uh, it, it's a woman who sells things on street corners. She's like, oh, okay. And you just go on with the thing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The best is when you bring it to school and they don't realize it. And then the teacher has to talk to the parent about so I got in trouble child. for wearing a cell <laughs> I wore a South Park shirt. It was a hand-me-down. I didn't watch South Park yet at this time. And I got in trouble. All I said was, like, come on down to South Park. I had the character down, and I got in trouble. It was, like, fourth grade. And I was like, I don't even know what this is. It's a hand-me-down <laughs> shirt. But back, in, I, back in those days, there was no no way for our parents to know exactly what we were watching unless they were watching with physically us. Physically there, yeah. You were, you were like, there, there was no internet. It was just, like, grab a movie or, or a game from, from the, the rental store uh, mm -hmm. at, a, at a Friday. Oh, I missed and that. And they would just look at, uh, at the cover. Yeah, seems okay. Go ahead. Like, is, I'm gonna go have my glass of wine. Will you play Disney? this? This is mommy time. Like they didn't care. Yeah. Remember yeah. when you can trust Disney with certain movies and oh, yeah. showing those movies to kids? I remember. You can't do that nowadays because you don't know. You have to like yeah. pre-screen well, it. It was only this... hidden messages of penises and tower in the clouds castles. or whatever, yeah. right? Oh, in the Little Mermaid. Well, but it was like... hard to spot. So to today. That's what she said. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, this Carrie. is um, something that I watched when I was a kid, and I had no idea, right? This is something oh, I what? watched late night on Channel 5. Hold on, I'll get to that. This Carrie. is the what? spaceship. <laughs> That's the spaceship they're on. This is a sci-fi show called oh, Lex. Oh, my God. And this, no, it's a genuinely amazing show. Uh, they, they had an entire episode about chess, and you wouldn't think they could make that entertaining, but it was really good. But it was only recently someone talk, was talking about Lex, and they said, this is the spaceship they were on. I had no idea when I was a kid what that was meant Wait, to be. People know. Yes. And okay. it was like at midnight on Channel 5 that I watched in my oh, bedroom. Yeah, I, had, had, I was too young to understand. Well, that's the thing. A, a that's lot a of cool these spaceship, shows... little disparate. <laughs> like... <laughs> And music, they sneakily put things into the context for, or the content for parents, so that it's entertaining as well. Like, yeah, I, like the the was it the song "Liquid Dreams"? No one would have known when you're a child that that's about, you know, when you're sleeping, whatever "Liquid yeah. Dreams" mean. <laughs> but like, you were singing. You just had it, to like, explain Whoa! it to me. I, you just had to explain it to me. It kind of went over my head. I was like, hmm, what's that song about? <laughs> See, yeah. so, there you go. Point then through. You compare it to WAP and you're like, well, there was oh, a class God. time yeah. to Lost like subtlety. today. Yeah. What about That's an the, art. The... You make it subtle enough so the kid doesn't understand, but you, but it's not so subtle that the parents don't understand. You know the the um, the weekend song, the I Can't Feel My Face song? I had my friend's nephew was walking around singing it because he heard it. He was like seven and his mom was like, oh, no, where do you hear that song? And she's like, please don't sing that. Don't sing that. And he's like, well, I don't even he know, know, what, know what that means. He's just like, no. yeah, it's a cool song. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's worse now. Like that's when you said the WAP thing. I'm like, yeah, it's so much worse now. Kids well, walking around. They don't know. But it wasn't that. Things like Mr. Bean. There's another you know, one. Mi Mr. Bean came from outer space, so we didn't really understand the, the rest of the world even as an adult but in one of the movies like someone sticks the middle finger up and he's like what is it yeah. it's like it means hello and so he's driving along the road just sticking up his middle finger <laughs> yeah, at people as yeah. he goes past <laughs> and he's like hello <laughs> and like, what the? Yeah. It's like this to everybody yeah yeah <laughs> that's the one smiling. <laughs> that that was the that was the first mr bean movie the the one from the 90s Yes, is is that the one yeah. with the art where he destroys with the, 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 the yeah. art gallery? It's like, it's where the he's best one. In yeah. I gotta watch Mr. Bean. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Maybe... Bean is amazing. It's I'm losing my voice. Right. Sorry. Like he's and so it's only nice. like it, it, it's so it's only like a dozen episodes. Do you guys know that? Shrey, you want to oh, watch no, it and review more. it with me? No, no. It what? feels like you can look that up. It feels like it's way more. Because you probably watched like, it repeatedly. But it's not well, there's a, a channel. Mr. Bean has a YouTube channel. They they re-upload clips and they put compilations together. They keep and it, repeating it, it, the, the amount of subs episodes. it has is insane. So it's um, 15. 33.1 mil, 33. million subs Mr. Bean's YouTube channel has. Wow. And it's just compilations yeah, you know of what? different clips. I didn't know that either. 50? Wow. 15. I'm amazed. Yeah, because yeah, because as a kid, I'd watch them all the time. It feels I'd like repeat, it's probably. Well, it's to be fair, as there's a... nine episodes of Man vs. B, and that's basically the same yeah. thing. They just as made it as a real. kid though, if like you could watch, I used to watch Lion King on repeat. You know, at the end, you rewind it, and then you that's put it back in and you watch it again, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I used to do that with a bunch of movies. I don't know. There's... When you were a kid, oh, you had yeah. a lot VHS. of tolerance for that with VHS. Yeah. Wait, do you have a VHS player, Dan? I do. There's only 24 episodes Ooh. of Blackadder and 42 of Men <sighs> now, Behaving now Badly. Now he fell down a hole. Like this room's going to videos. <laughs> You are literally is... blowing my childhood world view right now. Actually, the Ooh. only VHS that I still have is Lion King. Really? So yeah, it's my favorite um, movie. I went to my like Don't local. Don't me just through. No, uh, it's because I thought store. of the meme. It's my favorite meme where he's like, he's got the little guy, and he's just like, yeets him. Oh. <laughs> and he just he throws him. I'm uh, like, it's my favorite meme. I love the Thanksgiving episode when he puts the turkey on his head. Yeah. Who, Mr. Bean? That was so good. Yeah. I gotta watch it. Uh, I like where Spoilers. you. I think that I'm was the, the Christmas episode. Christmas. Was it also yeah, the one where I, that's he what I had, I had on video. I, I had on videotape um, I the Christmas episode. Yes. So there's one where he goes to the supermarket and he's like, he wants to buy a saucepan, so he brings his own fish with him to see if it fits and things. Yeah. And he, he's got it all around his pockets, and then he's driving home from the top of his sofa, as yeah. <laughs> like on the car, <laughs> and he goes to a school fair afterwards and wins like a dog race with <laughs> with the puppet and things. It's I remember oh, in the 2000s when, when, do you when we when were... he went into the art thing and there's like a nude model and yeah. everyone else is like, yeah. Oh. And he, he puts yeah. pottery over her. He's like, that's far better. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta watch. I, I, re I, rem I remember in the, in the 2000s when m my parents first got internet, uh, internet connection in our home and I was downloading a Mr. Bean episode. It was the first video thing I downloaded. We used to download like uh, MP3s over the over the night, leaving it downloading. But Lime video. Wire? Uh sailing the high seas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably Lime wire. Everyone used Lime wire. Everyone used <laughs> But the first the first video I ever downloaded was that Christmas episode of Mr. Bean and it took one month to download. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> one it month took, crap. It took one month to download Dyla? one one Mr. Bean in 2000 uh, yeah if, if it was dial yeah it was dial in, in yeah. the and it's like the cost of the electricity I, I, you might I, as well that, it. I had that software oh dude brazil and i had that <laughs> i had that software that would pause the download i'm forgetting the name mu mu downloads something like that i, I don't it, know it would pause the download for you during the day because you uh, at night you, you would not pay for the for for the you would just Email? pay for the one connection of the internet mm -hmm. you would not pay like the, the for the time you stay connected you would just make one payment yeah. after midnight and you would download it over the night and just stop it the, the when you wake up in the morning and it took one month to do that and it was like super compressed like less than 50 me megabytes super compressed shitty quality but i was so happy i mean, I mean can you imagine though making a, a 33 million subscriber channel just of 15 episodes it's no wonder when you've watched a few you're like i've already seen these this is just in a different order because there's so little content they've got to shove together in different orders but it's but, just yeah. classic they've made 3.4 thousand videos out of 15 episodes and it's yeah, also and it's marketable like, to all ages too, which uh, at least for YouTube, that's that's huge. Yeah, it's feel good. It, it, it like it, it doesn't meddle into anything like like current daysisms. So it's timeless. It, it allows, no yeah. allows it to be timeless. Exactly. Like everyone can laugh about these. Yeah. The, what he does in these episodes. That's why the old visual, we... visual comedy is amazing. It's like it's a lost art now. Yeah, not everyone is. can do that. Like we had like Robin Williams, who was the king of that. Even Jim Carrey, but he doesn't really act anymore. I think he's kind of like yeah. done with Hollywood. He, um, he retired. Yeah. Yeah, and he I don't blame him. <laughs> it's because um, it requires a certain level of IQ that we we just don't seem to have anymore. Um, yeah, I'm, or, I'm actually really listening to comedy. everything's gone down. Mm -hmm. I, I actually have Robin Williams, and I don't know why it took me this long to get it because I I love Robin Williams. I even have the Bang a Rang tattoo from Hook when he passed away. But his um, autobiography is on Audible, and I've been listening to it. And he, I had no idea how well educated he was. He grew up rich, but he didn't like flaunt it, and he went to all these really good schools. Like he was freaking smart. I mean, I'm not surprised by it, but I just never knew how how much schooling he actually went through. Robin Williams just that. <laughs> I wanted to point that out since you said this takes the smarts. Well, you'll find most right. comedians are very intelligent. They they yeah. went to the best universities. Yeah, the good ones. Like Rowan the Atkinson good ones went anyways. to Oxford. Um, yeah. All the people that Rowan Atkinson that you associate with him from the various different things, uh, they all went to Oxford. Uh, it's 
comedy is an intelligent person's game. That's Absolutely. why only the good ones, though. That's why we don't get that much oh, now. Well, well, that's why um, I can't remember a name. Amy, Amy Ch- Schumer. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why she's not funny. Yeah. She's not. <laughs> she I, really really I, I think I told you guys before, and just Rude died laughing. I'm pretty sure this was years ago when her Netflix special was on. You guys remember this? The controversy around that, like yeah, when they Netflix stopped rating. Netflix got rid. Netflix yeah. got rid of the of the rating because of because her. of that. So I put yeah. that on. Like people were talking about it. I'm like, oh, let's see if it's funny. And then I'm not even joking. I said I got so bored. Five minutes in, I I got up and started cleaning while I was playing. Uh, it's like, more she, than she boring. Just... It's more. If it's just boring, you can stand it. But if it it's like unwatchable, it's like too cringe. Oh, she doesn't to... talk about her vagina half the time. It's that's like, the problem with women it's, comics it's when it's about it. a cares? vagina all the time. No, a single person in the world has ever cared about her genitalia. No, no. thank you. <laughs> like you, you want to read this one, one just through? You get one. Judean, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll give you one. And if yeah, it's not funny, one. You're going outside. Get out. Jadine for nine ninety nine. Everyone buy a physical copy of Monty Python. Also, people that went to Oxford and search for the Holy Grail. Uh, and the, and there you go. And the search for the Holy Grail. This is. An, I'll get to the. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to miss the other ones. But this was a really nice one for Dan Ginger. Thank you for the ten. Dan, you helped me, and my mother, with Amazing Grace after my grandparents oh, my passed. They loved your angels. We rip eighty seven and ninety, even as an Alabamian, but not the Jeremy kind. Not the Jeremy kind. <laughs> ah, that's really sweet. Thank you. <laughs> not uh, look too at that, friendly Dan. with farm animals and that kind of stuff. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Nice. It, <laughs> hey. it was a nice message in the chat. It's like, yeah. I, 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 it friendly. used to be a nice message. Well, Jeremy I, was mentioned. A, well, it had to be said, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, but I think so that much. was great. I thank think you. the Amazing Grace was probably one of my favorites, too. That was my grandma's favorite song. I should show my mom that version. She'll probably love it. I'll show her. I'll send her your video. She'll love it. Um, thank you. Yeah, I love doing it. It was great. It was beautiful. Ian, thank you for the 50. Disru gives take on a healthy diet, pauses to sip warm desk milk. <laughs> hey, my desk milk has been greatly exaggerated. Blubs has been going around going, oh, he drinks off milk. It's like, what? I saw her say that in side scrollers. It's like, look, go if Blabs. you drink it in a few hours, how's it going to go off? Like, Blabs thinks that you get milk out of the fridge, put it in a glass, take it to your desk. It's already gone off. It's, what, like, weird. How long do you think the bacteria takes to digest this stuff? Is, I mean, is uh, Blabs Italian, Italian but... too? Yeah. Oh, you know, like, Mark doesn't like Blabs leftovers. Blabs is Italian so can... either. Okay, American like my Italian. milk cold. Blabs is no. Canadian. No, no, she's American, I thought. She's Canadian. Okay, whatever. Canadian. No, it's, it's, she's Doesn't from matter. Guam. Uh, I'm Mark Guam. does She's not ca- like ca- leftovers. Canadian Guam. He's Guamian. And he is he has yeah. a sensitive stomach. I have drank warm milk, food that's been in the fridge for a week, week and a half, and I'm still no, okay what? eating it. It's been in the fridge for a week. What did you expect? I buy my milk and I no. drink it the same day. And you're like, I left this milk for two weeks in the fridge. No, I'm not and then I took milk. it out. It it's was not the off. It's like it's not the fridge that did. But it's, I can see it's not why the warm it, air that did that. Blabs is like Dan looks Mark, fascinated. Like drunk <laughs> out by warm milk. I don't like it's warm like, milk. It's not the warm milk that's the problem. It's the fact that you left it for two weeks until it went off and then let it go. No, warm. I wouldn't do that. Uh, no, no, no. I, I would do. I would drink it past like three to five days. You know, you do the sniff test. It's fine. Mine doesn't the last a day. Test. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm like your yeah. because I drink it. Like <laughs> that's, that's, that's my case too. Yeah, that's my. The man loves too. his milk. I, yes. I, yes. I drink. And I'm probably... also too lazy to go and get another one. So if well, I'll just drink whatever's <laughs> next to me, is if it's a load of milk. And... Just for do you guys do you guys use uh, milliliter milliliters? We, we do, but for specifically for milk and beer, we use pints. But we okay. use liters and milliliters for everything else. Yeah, I drink about 600 milliliters of milk per day, every single day. It's part of my protein. 600. And... Do you know and how like much that is? Whole diet. Well, I, I think 500 <laughs> really? milliliters is around well, a pint. I I, I eat 14 to 1500 calories a day. To be fair, one liter is one one cart of milk. Yeah, that's that's way too much milk for me. I'll, also, I'll crap my pants if I drink milk, but you know. But it's like uh, I, I'm forgetting the terms in English. What 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 is the kind of milk that has barely no fat? Like uh, whole milk? Skim. Oh, oh no, oh, I'm skim. like full skim milk or nothing. Like what's the you point? You drink skim You're milk, You're just drinking Dan? dirty yeah. water. 
No, I only I only drink this skim milk because now. it's easier to control the macros for fat. Then if oh. I need more fat, I can just eat uh, peanuts. You can take a shot of olive oil. Say, do you eat, do you eat, mm -hmm. pe you can, like, you can eat peanut butter? Do you like nuts. peanut butter or you don't eat the peanut butter because it's too much sugar? What's your favorite no, nut? I prefer, I, I, I prefer yeah. peanuts. Who's nuts you prefer? Then, <laughs> I peanuts. prefer peanuts than peanut butter because... Uh, you know, it's sugar. healthier to it's healthier to add stuff to your diet that you actually can chew and use your you, use your teeth because if you don't eat, if you eat too much pasty stuff, your your the muscles You're an on old your man. face grow weaker. No, literally, the muscles on your face can grow weaker and your face start looking like that. And you're like, uh, you don't want that. Man. Yeah. So eat peanuts. So chew stuff every single yeah. day. Eat steak. Mm. Don't just like eat macadamia soft nuts stuff. are my favorite. I think my favorite is probably mm. probably cashews or like pecans. Cashews. <gasps> oh, I love pecans. pecans are so good. Mm. Actually, like I just feed I my nuts eating, to the squirrels. Like, <laughs> the, yeah, you, you do. You got bit though. <laughs> Brazil, he did. They won't he got bit, bit me. The little offs. I've never seen a squirrel in my entire life. But yeah, I do like Brazil nuts too because they're good for like your cholesterol or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Dad, <What>? why? <laughs> I didn't like say that. anything. <laughs> just, That's just the problem. Anything. Your mind is dirty. <laughs> yeah, no, yes, you it is. It is. Yeah. I didn't say anything. It's like, uh, I like oh, yeah. for you. Demon. She was, she, was with, she was with with Zia the other day, and Zia was like, "Oh, look up at all these sorts." And then X Ray suddenly went, "I want that in my mouth." It's like, what the <laughs> hell is happening here? See, I can confirm that she gets like that, okay? Because she's on, the, she was on like her and I'm hungry. She was anyway, on her drooling, like not I'm drinking drooling. diet either. And when me and her hung out in Buffalo. She was she w was smelling my food and my drinks and stuff. She was like, oh. <laughs> she was like I can't <laughs> eat it. <sighs> it's so good. <laughs> just let me sniff the carbs. She did. Like I had a I had a, a Manhattan a drink and she was like, can I just can I just smell it? <laughs> <laughs> I resisted from drinking. <laughs> she did. She didn't have one drink of which I was proud of her. I I didn't. If she would have had wanted a sip, I would have let her have it. But I didn't push it. She mm -hmm. was very good. But the next time we hang out, she's drinking. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, she'll, <laughs> I, she'll, I'm going to force you. You're going to, I'm going to pour it no, on I'm your gonna neck. No, I'm going to pull out a bottle of wine and she won't be able to resist that. <laughs> I'm going to pop the cork in her face, knock her out, and then pour oh it on her throat. <laughs> yeah, baby. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, sounds oh like, I have a good Saturday sounds night. like a perfect Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, sorry, I put this up like 20 minutes ago and I never read it because we started talking. It's called the Golden Ratio. Angelina Jolie, for example. Oh, when we were talking yeah. about like facial structure and mm -hmm. all that, yeah. right? And genes. Okay. Thank the you, Terry. The Golden Ratio is a certain spiral. It's like a maths equation. And people like box it out and then do the circle. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. And people, but there's also been research, it still fits, but there's a research of like the exact angle of somebody's ass. And they said, if you've actually got spinal <laughs> problems that make it go in, then you don't need as big of an ass because it, it's not actually that that they care about. It, it's literally the angle. Um, and it goes back to that the evolutionary fact. thing. Yeah, all, all, any, all, ever, all we've learned is like different curves and stuff. And you can trick the human mind. Um, it's the same thing like with them. Um... Like women's body. So when I uh, was talking to a bodybuilder and she's like, you can actually create a waistline by building your upper body strength. Exactly. Uh, yeah. For women, if you don't have those curves. No, men so, too. It's called the V shape. Yes. And then yeah, you're upside down the, burritos. It's the hourglass. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, you, gotta, you gotta really train your your side delts and your lats, the part yes. of the, the upper back and your chest. Then you if you don't need to lose a lot of. Uh, it's a lot true. Of, I would prefer to say, oh, I'm fat. surrounded by people from the other side of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Yeah, just so Dan that, can understand me because English isn't his first language. So. <laughs> oh <Thank> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now, Dispro is using that excuse for me. Thank you. Yes. There you, go. you don't even oh, have to say I've it. Got, I've got to you. learn so I can start using it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's just testing the waters. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm training myself to think of it first. There you go. Another compliment for Dan. Thank you, M MJO Skyver, for the five. Dan, love your Rhapsody covers. As soon as I saw you covered Emerald Sword, I had to listen to it. The passion in your voice honors that epic song. Aww. Thank you so much. I, I love Rhapsody. It's one of my favorite bands ever. And I did that one with my brother. <laughs> Sorry. 
What? Why are you laughing at him, Disbro? He called the way he said it. Yeah, I had a feeling. Rhapsody. It's potato, rhapsody. potato. Yeah. There rhapsody. you go. It's rhapsody. No, not rhapsody. Say, say it how rhapsody. you want. Don't let Disbro bully you. Say it how you want. No, you it is. Say it. You can't go around calling them rhapsody. It's no, I appreciate it because the, the, the motherfuckers at Geeks and Gamers let me speak. They don't know who. Oh, you want to be corrected? I got it. So they can laugh at me. That's what I appreciate. <laughs> oh, no. Well, they won't know who Rhapsody Dis is. Disparu will always correct you. That's I used to no, listen to in, Rhapsody. In, in, Bra in Brazil, we call it Happy Zodji. So I like Rhapsody yeah, better. I, be <laughs> I love how Disparu does that because it Rhapsody. reminds me of like a puppy when you say a word that a puppy doesn't understand and they go, <laughs> Disparu does that. <laughs> it makes you think of Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Yeah, Rhapsody. Like Bohemian Rhapsody. The Rhapsody. song. There you go. Rhapsody. Thank you. Like Rhapsody. Think of like Rhapsody. There you Rhapsody. go. Yeah, what you've Rhapsody. picked up the American <laughs> pronunciation that they yeah. emphasize that vowel, or is the other ones do it the other way cool. around? Uh, are you a fan, just bro, of Rhapsody? Yes. I, well, as a kid, cool. I've not listened to uh, a lot of these bands in a long time, but like my teenage uh -huh. years, early twenties. Um, Did you see you that had, like, I Lacuna recorded Coil, a video? Nightwish. Uh, all that kind of uh, stuff yeah. was... Symphonic yeah. metal, yeah. Yes, Did you see definitely. that I recorded a video with Fabio Leon? No, I don't know them. I've seen, I I've saw a lot of your covers. Of uh, here, Fa Fabio Leon is the, is the singer uh, of rap oh. Rhapsody. And I recorded a video with him. Yeah, yeah I, never knew, I never knew yeah. the names don't of the people Don't play that involved. one, because that one... Uh, the audio is very similar to the original. And sometimes the YouTube algorithm... Mm. Oh, we'll uh, just we'll just let mistakes. people see. But yeah, it was it was a a very cool thing. One of my one of my proudest achievements. The guy was in my dungeon in my in my garage dungeon? recording. Yeah, my my, my garage cool. is a dungeon. It's all black. <laughs> all, all is that where your like, gym is? Is that's where my gym is as ah. well? And uh, he he was there. He was like that is really cool. Is he Brazilian? I, I mean, no, he he's Italian. You can ah. imagine my background, though. It's like a very sort of English is. middle class background. The parents are out, so I'm like, right, now I can turn the volume up. And I had like <laughs> Lacuna Coil, Heaven's a Lie, just blasting out as loud as I can. My dad called, What the bloody hell is going on? I was like, Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is so freaking yeah. cool that he was in Brazil and you could do he, this. He's part of a Brazilian band called Angra. And they were they were touring Brazil and they were passing by my town, so I took the opportunity and, and invited him. That's Very really cool. cool. Which who's Very the guys? Cool. They do like three cellos. Is it a pocket lipticker? Mm, I used to really like those. I, uh, I, 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 I know. I know. Yeah, 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 they they just make like metal music just out of cellos. Like uh, that that's is what cool. I really like. And they they it is, they, it's a bit sort are those of the ones they weird. plug the cellos in actual amplifiers. I think so, yeah. I, 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 I like saw someone do the hell that. out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and it just stores the sound. Yeah, it's four cellos. There you go. Like, that's, that's what I liked. It was, they they would take, like, classical things, but do modern stuff with them and do it yeah. in a twist. I always liked anything that mixes classical and modern things. Because I like classical music as well, so mm -hmm. the combination is always awesome. Yeah, Very Rhapsody cool. were the first guys. They were they were doing that in, in, in the mid-90s. During the 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 grunge uh, f phase, so yeah, they were really ahead of their time. I very think, very yeah, cool. Well, that would have been my teenage years. There like, you go, like, X -ray. 90s, Early two thousands. <laughs> uh, Jason Webster for Five Australian says this episode of Saucy Saturdays is brought to you by Stoliknaya vodka. Drink responsibly. No, it's not really. <laughs> I've only had the two shots. <laughs> But I feel drunk. She's only had one big uh, cup. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> the cup is as big as my face. That's a big cup. It is. It is. I mean, I have a pretty big <laughs> cup, and I didn't... You refilled yours. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can handle it, though. Just I think turns I out one of you has a really tiny head. It's like a normal cup. It's not me. <laughs> I have a big head, I think. <laughs> my head's kind of small. <laughs> well, you're small <laughs> in yourself, Wicked. Like, I'm one and a half, okay? Head, just, yeah, if I had a, if I had a big head, I was doing a Funko. <laughs> men, men would have gone the other way. They'd be like, no, my head's massive. You should see the amount of alcohol I could do. Everyone else went, no, Matt's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> my dad used to tell this joke that there was this kid crying to his mom. Mom, 
my my friends at school tell me I don't uh, tell me I have a a big head. And it's like the the mom goes like, oh, don't worry, Sonny, you don't have a big head. You know? Aww. <laughs> Aww. Your head is perfect. Aww. Aww. Moms are the best. <laughs> it's kind of like my the dad jokes my dad used to come back. He used to listen to the radio on the way home and come back with them. And it was like, he, he'd cute. always come back and tell them as if it was, a, it was a real story. It's like I was walking down the road and my mate came up to me. I was like, it's like, where are you going? It's like, well, you know. Going to the doctors, I don't like the look of my wife. He's like, oh, I'll come with you. I don't like the look of mine either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Dad, you, you should. No, hey, there's worse. <laughs> like, well, I'm sure. me, I was like nine years old and he got him off the radio. <laughs> like, there was, there was one. Uh, I don't know. Can I tell? I'll have to translate the words. Um, so, this was before everything kicked off. But he was, his mate came up to him and he's like, so what are you doing? He's like, well, you know, I'm, I'm just swapping from sort of M to F. Uh, he's like, oh, so what's the worst bit about it? That must be pretty horrific. Like, he's like, what was the most painful thing? Was it when they they, they chopped everything off? He's like, no, no, that wasn't wasn't the worst bit. It's like, oh, w was it when they started installing stuff in your chest to, to make you look more like it? It's like, no, no. So, what was the most important? Was it when they got a big needle and started injecting you full of loads of chemicals? It's like, no, no. Well, what, what was the worst bit? He's like, they got a big needle, stuck it in my brain, and sucked half of it out. Don't get it. Like, Why is the needle going in the brain? Terrifying. Yeah, Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing is, not getting that joke kind of proves the point. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. there you go. Well, it went over all of our heads. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, Jadine, thank you. I'm Brazilian. Brazilian. You, guys you guys have no excuse. It's, it's, it's not his Brazilian. first oh, language. <laughs> yeah. It's not I'm mine Brazilian. either. You guys have no excuse. <laughs> Jadine, my third language. Nice. No, that's true. It's my third language. You're Canadian. Sure. It's it's my third and only language that I learned. Did you grow up in Canada? <laughs> do, do, do you speak French? At least too? he grew up in Brazil. I can read it, um, roughly. But is it true? Is it true that you guys have like language police that you have to to? You oh, have in to Quebec, speak yeah. French? No, cause they, oh, they yeah, literally will weird. return packages XQC. sometimes if there's too much English all on <laughs> there. Hey, any but place what happens? XQC like, the, they give you a ticket or something? That, I mean, I think they can do that, <laughs> but yeah, I'm no, not 100% oh, sure because that hasn't happened. Now, if you're in the city, like the main city, Montreal, you're fine because they know they get a lot of tourists. But uh, a long time ago, I dated someone from like a rural area in Quebec, and they refused to speak to you in English at all. Base. So I'll speak to them in English and they reply back in French. And you're like, oh, okay, that, that's, I know you know how to speak English. That's a voluntar Base. voluntary thing. Like they refuse to speak to you in, in a certain language. But giving you a ticket for you not speaking that language, that's... I mean, yeah, it is Canada. Do know the much. problem with that? <laughs> like, I can't speak French, so they give you a ticket in French. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think it, it's, it's, more, it. it's more for the people who live there than anything than people who visit yeah but even so i know that's the, that's the, ridiculous the so they want to preserve in... the french language now uh speaking of hicks they the, the way french people like from france they view those people literally like hicks they do not like quebecois wales has a similar thing because the welsh language is basically a dead language so they're desperately trying to preserve it and get people to speak it so everything is in welsh and english but the Welsh has the priority. The issue is, because so few people speak it, they have a few translators. So there's one sign that literally reads, hello, my name is whatever it is. I'm out at the moment. But if you could please get back to me with the message you would like translated, I will get it back to you. Because it was his answer phone. And they translated his answer phone <laughs> and put it on a sign. That and there was sounds one. more <laughs> polite, though, than the how the wow. Québécois do it. So. My favorite one was on the road Insane. in Welsh. It said, look right. In English, it said, look left. And you were supposed to look right. <laughs> so they were just murdering off the English people. <laughs> so, oh, oh, you don't speak true? Welsh? Die. <laughs> yeah, look the wrong way. <laughs> uh, there are, there were, I don't know about currently, separatists in the Quebec area. They didn't actually want to be part of no. Canada at all. Here you go. Oh, does you've you've got got you want to read this one for me? The English or the French? Uh, repeat like that. Sorry, Disprew. Sorry. It's like you actually have a French revolution in your kind country. Of. Kind of. And it would have been so awkward because uh, it would be like, you know, half of Canada 
or more than half of Canada, and then like Quebec, I don't know what it would be called. And then you have like Newfoundland, New Brunswick, PI just hanging out on the east side. <laughs> You'd have to like cross a border to get to the other side of the country. So I'm glad they didn't. Uh, but Ian so forth for 50 pounds, that's proper money. None of your American dollars. Um, Disbrew reciting pre-written jokes makes me picture him on stage in Blackpool wearing a fez. What's a the fez? Best, what's what a, is a fez? fez? Is like a, it's like a red hat. Uh, the, there used to be a comedian who wore one all the time. Oh, it's like Apu. That's not the guy, but kind no, of. No, Apu the monkey. It was, in Doctor, oh, right. it was in Doctor Who a lot. Abu, um, Abu, sorry. But it used to be a magician. A from Simpsons. A Sala, a Sala from Indiana, Indiana Jones. But yes, the, and Sala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the magician specialized in being bad at magic, but the, the trick was he was actually amazing at magic. He was just faking being bad at it. So he would trick, he, he'd actually do magic tricks along the way to make it fail, but fail in a particularly spectacular way. That was his entire <laughs> gig and telling bad jokes. The issue was because he was a comedian, he died on stage. He had a heart attack on stage. Oh and my god! It's, it's on people were like, ha, 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 ha. no, exactly, no, he did. No, yeah. there's he a died. snap film people on YouTube. People were laughing. His assistant walked on stage, thought it was part of his act, walked off, and then <gasps> you just see like the curtains come in front of him as everyone suddenly kind of realizes. The audience, no idea. Uh, oh my god! Like, that, that's the sort of stuff that you need to get help immediately. Yeah. yeah. Nobody. Oh no! Oxygen to your brain. Five minutes are dead. Yeah. We're like, well, this is just the kind of person he is. You know, he, he. Oh my god! He, his entire act was things going wrong, <laughs> so it just kind of happens. That is sad. That's so crazy. scary. Crazy. Here's a, another one for you, Disbrew. Uh, Jadine for four ninety nine. Hey Disbrew, I left you at nineteen ninety nine right before you ended. Go buy an eight ounce beef fillet. I I will do, dude. Uh, maybe not dude. fillet. I'm more of a ribeye guy myself, but it'll definitely go on a steak. Cheers, dude. This one's for Dan, Western Civilization. Thank you for the 707. At Dan Vask, are there a lot of carbs in man buns? <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of testosterone in man buns. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> be, That's where I know. we stole the testosterone. Yes. Ian went that as a joke and then it turned into this sad story. <laughs> it's not a sad story. It's a funny story. You've just got to have an English sense of humor and he's Scottish. What's, uh, have you ever, thank you for the 10 uh, men tricks. Uh, if you like Mr. Bean, you would like Black Books. Have you ever heard of that one, Disbrew? Black Books is amazing. It's one of my favorite comedies. Is it British yeah. too? Or... Never heard of it. Yeah. Never heard of it uh, either. I, okay. I did on Twitter once. Somebody asked, like, I think it was Perry Chan asked um, what other comedies were like. And I just made a massive list. So there is a, a tweet about it somewhere. Somewhere in the zeitgeist. Speaking of Robin Williams, I guess 499, Jadine. Uh, I watched Morgan Mid. I have to watch that. Never watched that. Me neither. That was back in like the, I think the seventies. I've always meant to watch that one. And Wanda gives us a five dollar super chat. Doesn't say anything. Thank you, Wanda. I'm trying to catch up. I feel There's bad because we're missing some of these topics. Like we're going on to another topic and they're talking about other stuff. Um, Jason, thank you for another five. Most member, most memorable alien in film history: Space Girl, Matilda May, and Life Force, nineteen eighty five. Well, certainly memorable for a majority of men. Super. I never heard of it. Wait, leave that up. Mm. Leave it up. Look it up. I never oh. heard of who, that movie or her. That. Me neither. I In found me. the tweet. Um, uh, she is very pretty. Oh my god. Let's see. Let us see. Oh, she's really pretty. Like oh, she has. She's very naked nice. or something. <laughs> nice. Well, we don't <laughs> no, see no, anything. So pretty. But... Wow. Damn, and this was tweets. from 1985. Okay. Wow. Very pretty. Eighties, eighties had some, and that's her now. She looks fine wear. now. She's like an older, pretty older woman. See her over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Looks like she didn't get a bunch of work done. Good for her. Uh, that's Very always pretty. for the best. Yeah, women. I feel like these women, like Kylie Jenner and stuff, that are getting work done in their twenties. Oh God, when they're like no, in their forties, no, it's gonna no. be so bad. Just I feel grow bad. Old it's like with dignity yeah. and, and mm -hmm. take care of your health and look the way you're supposed to be for your age. It's it's. It's the best. Yep. Yeah. But oh. if you can, if you and can it saves you money. Yeah. These, these <laughs> yeah. are the comedies. Uh, the first few are in order, and then it kind of goes off into a mess. But Coupling's my favorite. Then Dark, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Black Books came in third. Blackadder, Faulty Towers, Peep Show, League of Gentlemen, The IT Crowd, Father Ted, The Thick of It. Yes, Prime Minister. 
Oh, yes, Minister. Yes, Prime Minister. Dad's army. Only fools and horses. Outnumbered. Men behaving badly. Fresh meat. Shameless. And the in-betweeners. Uh, Shameless. Uh, oh, the the British version, though, I'm guessing. All of those are British comedy shows. Yeah. Those are uh, American uh, one just uh, copied the English one. Like, yeah. if, uh, Americans have tried a few. Like, they tried the in-betweeners. It just didn't work. Um, they tried coupling. Just didn't work. It doesn't translate very well when you put American actors there. Uh, like... They tend to make them like attractive and stuff. And it's like, no, you don't understand. The British comedy is about being the underdog. They're not supposed yeah. to be heroes. Oh my That's god, true. look how diverse and stuff they are putting non pretty people. I don't know. <laughs> there, there was all, pretty there, people. There was always a thing people. about the difference between American and British comedy. It's like Americans want to be the hero, they want to be the leader, and the Brits want to be the guy at the back getting trodden on by everything else because they find it funny. <laughs> like that is the difference. That's interesting. Ginger just sent two dollars for the Disbrew haircut <laughs> fund. Thank you, Ginger. It will and happen also, after Vegas. And also for Dan's haircut for Gary's song, another two dollars. Not Thank you. that was. He's not never, gonna do it. <laughs> no, that was never agreed. When's the last time you power. had your hair short? Because oh. I've only known you with long hair. Yeah, I same. mean Wait, army. I you know, have the army. Hair. It was it was shorter in your first video, right? The one that Craig. Has that, DD that Cobra's video, website relinked to your first video? <laughs> that video is about 15 years old, but after that, it grew longer and then I cut it again. Mm. But since I was in the army, since I left the army in 2009, I only cut my hair once. What? Wow. Yeah. Ever? Well, wow. like, it's like I, mean, I, since I, the army, I, since I take the care, army. I take care of the tips and, and, and stuff like that, but actually. The, yeah. Wearing shorts. This bro. What? Uh, I didn't say anything. I said nothing. <laughs> yeah, like you gotta, you gotta take care of the tip. You know. Yeah, just the tip. Don't. <laughs> you don't yeah. want it to. Last uh, thing, the last thing you want is two tips. Scraggly. Yeah. You don't want you don't double want split tips. tips. Yeah, split tip. Ooh, Never no. split your Split ends. No, no. Yeah. Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> X-ray, this one was for you. Let her Dark compose herself first. Yes, yes, Judas, for two euros. Let's X-ray girl, just say. Uh, wait, wait. Let me do it with my uh, bell. Oh. oh, she got the racist Nine, bell. nine, nine, nine. <laughs> what the that was a racist just... thing. So it's my racist. Bunch of guys bell. in the chat just probably really like know. that. Though I'm just gonna say. <laughs> she didn't understand when she rang that bell. I said that sounds Asian. She was like, "How does that sound?" It's like, but it just does. <laughs> when she's loud, she just sounds super Asian. That's just nine, just nine, happy. nine. Ooh, it's the bell that sounds Asian. <laughs> well, that's very true. Well, because every time Gary goes, and here's Xaregu. <laughs> <laughs> he has to say it exactly. No, it's like you have to. Like, you have to have a little pause. It's like exude. <laughs> I, I mean, it must have been for at least a month or two. His clip of white people. I thought that was you. I, I, I it was does sure sound it was like me, though. To be fair, white people. Or when white it's uh, who was it that thought the daddy chill was uh, me? <laughs> but it was that um, was that a black guy in the long hair. I don't Daddy chill. I don't know what the original is. <laughs> Sounds like something like Paris Hilton would say. Uh, yeah. Let uh, me see if I can find the clip. I, I, it's on Gary's. Um... Here, while you're looking it up, I'll read this one. It's another one for Dan. Justin Martin, thank you for the twenty dollars. Dan, you ever see the uh, charismatic voices breakdown slash reaction of your version of Amazing Grace? She's an opera singer. Does live streams with artists sometimes? Always thought it'd be fun to see you on there. Yeah, I saw that and it was very fun because it was probably the most accurate. Uh, there, there's a there's a bunch of coaches that react to my voice and they say a lot of accurate stuff too, but some stuff that it's not really accurate. But she, charismatic voice, it seemed like she was there with me and she knew everything I was doing and why I was doing. So yeah, her videos are a great resource if you want to if you want to understand singing better and if you want to understand what i did in that amazing grace video watch her reaction she breaks it down beautifully as as if she was there with me it was pretty cool that's awesome i, I like watching those like vocal coach breakdowns sometimes they're they're interesting it's cool. it's i'll check her out. I, I never watched her i'll check her out uh, but when you first when you i think it was amazing grace and i watched that video my like recommended videos were all people reacting to your <laughs> video oh, wow. i was like my whole yeah there was a lot of them um, there is like there's hundreds 
yeah the, uh, of reaction to that video specifically it's insane all right and here's I another one for dan he says sorry ginger for two dollars dan vast next male vocalist for nightwish there you <laughs> go okay go ahead all I'm right sorry. are we ready for this brazilian yes oh, oh yeah no. daddy chill <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh see what the hell is even oh. that guy? What the hell is even that? <laughs> I just love like his face. <laughs> I would Chill never have thought that voice. I would came never have those two. Yeah. No. I to download that and add it as a clip. I'm adding that as a clip like now Mike for Sassy. Hair. I know, right? <laughs> Mike, Mike, we need to do a clip of this with you and Gary. I would yeah. love my we, we yeah. need Mike Please. just going. <laughs> Daddy, chill. Because <laughs> this room likes the wiggle. It looks so sad. Oh. No, but not that wiggle. It's Daddy that wiggle. Chill. It's sideways. Like, oh my god, that did look like Mike though. So it says wow. epic beak with wet hair. Yeah. If you were Mike, it would be like, Daddy, chill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially when gaming, he, there's a lot of screaming. I don't think that he can get his voice. Like that person's voice was more high pitched than me and X-Ray. So I don't know if Mike can get to that level. Daddy but chill. That, <laughs> I can say it while he pretends to say it. Yeah, it, it'd probably be better for him not to try and fake his voice, but to try and put on the accent, like the whole the the sort the, the, the sort of the camp tone. Just really doesn't want to say rather it. Rather than he's trying to say raise, the, like, raise his pitch, it. just put yeah. on the camp tone. Can you can mm -hmm. you do it, just for What like he's Daddy gonna... chill? He's not gonna. <laughs> That's gonna be a clip. You realize that, right? <laughs> I don't care. Yes. We get to exploit it, just for you, more. I, 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 I've sent clips of you to Wicked. She refuses. She's like, no, no I'm, I'm gonna... not going to show them on the show. I didn't say that. I was just like, oh. You just I didn't know that. Where's, the, where's the clip, you Wicked? To, where's the have, clip? You have to email it to me. I can't download on Twitter. I don't even, you know, I don't I don't even know what your those. email is. Wow. I'll send it oh, to you here. You're like, wow. Email, it's like, are, how, are you naughty? How, how can on. you not be telepathic and just read my personal information? Email. Well, I sent. Okay, never mind. Anyways, let me <laughs> let me Who share. Uses emails? I, I know. do, God. especially for video. Like, I'm for old. Video. Eighty years old. Here, yes. here you go. This Shut will make up, this up this <laughs> That's so old. It's like Brazilian you're ageist. <laughs> oh no. This, this will make. Oh, sorry. You see my little thingy. Let me move that. Uh, this will make this brew happy. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. I yeah. 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 I want that in my mouth. Like the world's best easter basket for me i'm trolling like, <laughs> there are you happy now just for <laughs> yes. someone else got objectified <laughs> we always hear i don't know if dan's seen this here you go dan this is usually what we do please please oh, oh yes oh. Oh. I want because to... i'm worth it yeah. <laughs> we we really do there exploit disprue uh, the we chat do. We do. literally said it's not the chat it's you two uh, it's no, you the two chat. Wait, who would you rather oh. uh see in these clips me that's or because Disbrew? you're asking that's because you're this is like going would you prefer stella blade to have the current actress in it or some big 300 pound fat Disbrew, you're not a 300 pound <laughs> fat person yeah would you You're prefer a, a builder's ass or <laughs> the one right. you currently got? <laughs> Men can like lesbians too. <laughs> Imagine Star they do. Stellar Blade, there's a Lizzo <laughs> DLC. There's a what? A Lizzo DLC? DLC? A Lizzo. How's that? A Lizzo. How... Oh, a Lizzo. 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 Like, uh, Did that's, I say that was wrong? my favorite Lizzo? thing about Lizzo. Lizzo. You, said, you said it with an accent. It's, it's Liz, like Lizzo. Lizzo. Lizzo, I understood yeah. you. Oh my God! Speaking of Lizzo, Lizzo, I saw the funniest Chrissy Mayer like, uh, tweet. When Lizzo, when Lizzo said she quit, and I was just like, "Is a hell dive?" Is two jokes that did it, and it is just like bile spewers. <laughs> Do you want to watch? Yeah, a I knew it was bullshit from the beginning. She's yeah, not marketing thing. Trying to get some attention. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, well, that's Chrissy, the only one she can get. Shout out to Chrissy Mayer for this. Oh my oh, God! Oh, I, really, I know this one. He says, this is what caused the earthquake. On your lip. Just kind of get it in there. Fill it in a few different times just to kind of get it a real deep color. And then kind of go in here at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Is that, is that what an earthquake feels like? 
I guess. Uh, yeah, I've never been. Was that an actual earthquake? Uh, four point eight. Earth no, that, was, that wasn't a four point eight. That would be like a really massive sort of city ending earthquake. I, I think it, the, I asked because I think the blonde Brazil woman was faking have. the earthquake, but oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, why I mean, she actually in Japan like recently, that? which was really strong, and then there was one in New yeah. York, which was like four point eight, which is everything shakes a little bit. It Brazil feels don't like... have earthquakes, so I have no idea. It, if you looked like. at the Japanese one, there was a bridge, and it started. It went off, and the, the they were li- the cars were literally going from tire to tire. It was flipping Damn. the cars. Oh, uh, like a, a minor one feels like a train or um like passing by. It's just like a little. Uh-huh. Ch- 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 but I, that's the furthest I've been. I think it was like a two point something, so it wasn't very um aggressive. Yeah. Oh, oh we okay. have the sign of similar thing. We just get the the little bits. And so it's like, Never you might hear one. plates or glasses like shake in a cupboard. And that's about as far as it goes. I'm so glad I've never had to like worry about my life with an earthquake. <laughs> yeah. In, in Brazil, we don't have earthquakes. We don't have hurricanes. We we just have Brazilians. That's our <laughs> that's, that's, that's a disaster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Project Egg Roll, thank you for the 10. So that's what caused the earthquake in Taiwan. Agro, <laughs> thank Agro. you. Um, Fresh Pony just became a. They're Asian and they have a podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Fresh Pony, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the Potato Squad. And Miss Bart Muses with a 99 cent roast sticker. Thank you. Um, and John Thomas has a question for Disparu. How about the goodies? Thank you for the two dollars. Oh, I haven't seen. I haven't seen the goodies since I was a kid. Um. I don't really have an opinion on him because I was a kid. <laughs> so he's got to he's got to check it that out. That was again. a long time ago, friend. Um, charismatic voice did an Elden Ring song with Miracle of Sound recently called "Purest Gold." Thank you, ICBM Steve, mm. for the five. Ooh, Ooh. Elden Ring. Interesting. I like. That yeah, too. we're catching up finally. And Jadine with for another one. Thank you so much for the support tonight. Forty nine ninety nine. Mm. My tip is fully intact and clean. Hashtag men's rights and keep it clean, my fellow hooded bandits. All right, you know what? That was that you're gonna get saucy. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on a second. That is, but hold on, Dan's got to see this one too, just so he understands the extent to how we objectified this brew here. Oh my gosh, queen. Yes. I have said (laughs) we need to objectify them them because we'll get more viewers, and they're like, no, I think maybe it's like. What is the point? <laughs> Can you imagine okay, our viewers fine, if fine. we both came in in Stellar Blade cosplay? Just this imagine bro, this the bro, viewers. Exactly. A thousand dollars and I'll unbutton one button. You are terrible at the internet. <laughs> terrible at the internet. <laughs> Absolutely awful at it. Yeah, I will whore you, myself you, out for this. Do you understand how much of a buttons. slag I would be if I was a woman? I would be a multi-millionaire. Like, he would be, be just naked and... on camera all the time. <laughs> well, no, because that's not... No, his butt. no that's, that's not how you make the really, money. Really, Mark the should butt. decide that, but uh, my suggestion no, would be... No, he literally is like, you should just like go down to here. You know no, it's like $100 per button. Uh, excuse me, no. Point. There's only like what? One, no. three, three right. buttons. Yeah, but that's the point. $100 that would be a the lot. entire point. Okay, 200 a button. Okay, fine. 200. There you I go. Remember We're more than that, Dan. Does Mark agree? Where's Mark? Well, Mark, are is you Mark, in the chat? Like, from, what, from what I've heard, oh, no. like, Mark is the one that's been like, you should beautify yourself a lot <laughs> no, more. No, but like, honestly, Mark. Just give him Mark, half. This is my line. This is Mark's line. Like, yeah. I, my line is way Your more line conservative. Your line is to Mark. Like, I'm basically <laughs> like a, a, a nun. <laughs> I, I remember Mike once he was sitting on stream and someone was like, how much to shave your head? He went, ah, I don't know. Like 150 bucks. And That's I was like, no, cheap. no, don't do that. Someone will donate it. It's it's like, 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 what? I was like, no. For and sure. then someone in the chat was like, I was just about to donate it when you said, no, I should do more. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. 150 is like too too little. When I did the last uh, birthday stream, or not birthday, um, the 50th anniversary, I was like $100 per shot because I can't do 50. 50 will kill me. We got, we got messed up oh. on New Year's Eve, all I of did. us, all three of wow. us. Yes, you did. I didn't have shot glasses. I didn't know how much I was drinking. I was that's just what, like, that's where those clips I, are I was from. Like, Dan. I'll make sure. That was, I think that was New Year's Eve. He was very sassy. He had quite a bit. Uh, yes, um, there was just one Fortnite stream that I that I said I would do twenty push-ups per death. I, I ended up not being able to to do it. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> I Too died much. a lot. But afterwards, your arms were like three times the size. Yeah, it was like <laughs> jelly arms. Well, yeah. I, this Peru, you want to read Ian's comment? 
Ian so forth, if Disbrew was female, he'd be like, oops, I spilt the milk. Oh my god, Disbrew would <laughs> be doing the bend and snap from Willy well, well, Wand. No, you, no you, there's... Ah, uh, Mike w- missed Women it. don't understand men. This is like, if you look at Pokemane, she's like, oh, I just need to walk out my door, which happens to be over there in view of the camera, and you see her as she leaves the room. And, like, this is the thing. It's about subtlety. And women are like, no, I'm just going to put up. No, no. What has been lost in modern society is the art of seduction. Like women, yes. do, because they have it so easy, they never needed to learn. Man if you go back to two feel. generations, your grandmothers would have known oh my the God. artists. We're getting men, men have to this. feel. Men have right. to feel that Take they're not that, supposed right. to be seeing that. What? They yes, have to feel that the, the they, they have to feel that, that it's value. like, oh my God, she doesn't know, <laughs> and it's like it's an well, accident. I'm not supposed to be seeing this. It, it's the old point that be, before the internet, your grandmother knew how to get blokes, and it's like. There was literally the whole idea of like they would drop a handkerchief. No, that that was serious. They would do that. There yeah. was another piece of advice which was like, um, just ride up and down his house in front of his house on a bike because he'll notice you eventually. It was like you you find the bloke you want and you put yourself in his range until he notices you. And if you go back yeah. in time, it was always men thought they were making the first move, but actually it was the woman who put herself in the position to be doing exactly. it. And then it was her that actually did chess. it. Throwing the bait. Well, it's not that yeah. complicated. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Otherwise, women like, won't be able to do it. You missed you with straight hair. <laughs> yeah. Do we need to pull it back up for him? Yeah, Mike, are you still here? Well, Thank we didn't watch you. it again anyways. <laughs> I, I, I heard it, but I didn't see it. <laughs> are we ready, there you go, Mike? Mike? I got you. We need you. you to do this, please. Wait, wait, wait. All of you. Daddy, chill. <laughs> what the hell is even that? <laughs> Daddy, chill. I think that's basically oh you, Mike. Yeah. And right what, at the what? end, there's that, that that vocal fry. Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. Yeah. Daddy, chill. It, it, it's the camp voice. It's it's. Yeah. We don't want the tone, just the presentation. <laughs> Actually, I want you to hit the classic Mike. The classic <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Just no, he, a bit. <laughs> he, he owned it to it. Him. He, that I actually want you to do that video mm-hmm. with Gary. <laughs> 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 He'd be like, what the hell was even that? <laughs> you ask you can ask Mrs. Nerd Neurotic to do your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean you could. Oh my god, can yeah. I straighten your hair, Mike? Please? I want to straighten it. He's so not long. You with it. Why? Why not? That, his hair's gonna be used to Brazilians. Time. Well, that's Who? down there, not up here. You don't wax oh, your hair exactly. up there. He's gonna end up bald. You know, I do know how to do hair. <laughs> yeah. I no, that is Dan not Vance, how wax I'd rather live with this Peru. There Always Brazilian. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know the whole wax. Always thing. simp for Dan Vask. <laughs> you don't. Right. You don't want to live with me. I tell you. You're I not gonna get any. Me. He won't let you have it. any milk. Wow. You can turn off the stream when you've had enough. I have to live with this shit. <laughs> he said I can straighten my own hair. Thank you. I feel like oh, you went like that yeah. afterwards. <laughs> I can do it myself. <laughs> and holy moly, Ian. Ten gifted subs. Should we play the PJs thing? Uh, X-ray or PJ dance? No. <laughs> no? Okay, well then we'll get this. Oh my yes, god. Queen. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's you can't that, that, that is not a fair exchange. <laughs> Why? Give the no, I'll play the nuts in my mouth one. That's what they want. What? Isn't there a nut? Did you send her I one? I just heard X Ray go play the nuts in my mouth. <laughs> oh, there was a blurb where I said I want nuts in my mouth because I was eating nuts. And oh, yeah, wow. anyways. Just wait until I There's I, no way you, I... you. There's no way you did that unknowingly. No, I actually did. No, she yeah, did a lot. Uh, on Geeks and Gabers tabletop, there's something about like ass play or something she said at the start of the last episode. What? Wow. Yeah. I don't even remember that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> this is the whole point. You were talking to a Rudai. Ah, yeah. A Ruda likes it in the butt. Oh, God. Yeah, but that's not what you said. You started with I. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I don't even remember like, that. Nobody one. needs the context. They just need. <laughs> Wanda, Whatever. thank you for the 10. <laughs> and here, this is another I'm one married. for... It doesn't matter. <laughs> for Disbrew. Justin Martins for five says, Disbrew, you should cut your hair like Ryan's before the Vegas meetup. Lesbian haircuts gotta stick together. <laughs> I don't even know what Ryan's haircut is. That's Epic Mike and Brian B. K. Kendall. <laughs> Brian Kendall. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, 
fun um, skit to, for them to do. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> yeah, every x-ray stream is a clip farm. I, I don't mean mm -hmm. it sometimes. Or See, most of the time. Sometimes I do it on purpose. It's very few times I do it on purpose. It just See, it the comes out. Words. Sometimes I don't mean it. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting that sometimes you have a very dirty mind, but sometimes you're like you're clueless. Yeah, Depends I'm a bimbo. <laughs> no, but it's like it's it turns on and turns off. It's I do that too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we didn't get it. <laughs> See, just now. There was no safe comment I could make, so I was just, I thought I'm going to leave that you one. You did it. That was on purpose that time. You just did it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the the colorful illustration. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> should you and your bring up the, the Disney We're the Disney it. story now? Sure. Uh, so Disney had. Are we their... not going to do the French people insulting attractive people, or is that we? Oh, we never it? actually did it. That's true. Well, it's in the. You want to do that? We yeah. Do we like put it in the title. All Sorry, right. we started oh. watching the gameplay. I didn't know this is what you meant. I was hoping for like a meme or something. A I meme? wanted like an angry French guy just like shouting at people on the street. That's what I thought you were talking about. <laughs> We've all, we have already done this bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. It was just I just French didn't know you, this upset. is what you meant. It is. I just like looking at her. She's picking. Like, I could assault women way better than this. Yes, you can. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> seen it already. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, then you can I'll, even make I'll the word share an this. If you, if you phrase it correctly. <laughs> This is actually... Did you repost this, Disparu? Yeah, but it, it was more about the... Because um, <laughs> they've recently been through a whole thing. Where there was a massive board seat war that essentially went on between Nelson Peltz and Bob Iger. Uh, Nelson lost after... Uh, what was it? They spent like... Was it 40 or $50 million advertising just to the shareholders to try and fend off the board seats? He was the only chance they had for change. And then along comes Bob. He, he put, I think, 70 million into his ad campaign. 70 was the total of Nelson and him. Oh, uh, okay. Nelson spent like 25. Uh, and so Bob will spend like 40, 45 Which, million. Which, by the way, like that's more than some mayoral candidates uh, in certain cities that they put in their own advertising. Uh, and I like how Gary said, you could make like three or four Godzilla minus ones based yes. on what they spent uh, for this el election, if you want to call it that. It's such a waste of money. And that's people's money in Disney, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, the investors, oh, that'll obviously come out of the profits uh, like anything else. It's a business cost. So I, I they... know a little bit, I, I know very little about that proxy war. So explain to the dumb Brazilian, what is the position that they are being elected for? Well, you have like the CEO and then you have uh -huh. a board underneath them. Um, uh -huh. And board the board directors. can veto things like uh, the CEO's pay and things. The board technically in a company have the power rather than the CEO because the board could eject the CEO if they don't like him. But what allegedly uh, Bob has done is he's got board members who all agree with him and so along comes this outsider who has said things like why do we have to have movies with an all-female cast what why do we have to have just an all-black cast what 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 does that got to do with anything is that making money nelson peltz is a money man he will make you profit even during this actual like war which he lost he still made a billion dollars because he invested then people were like oh maybe there'll be change at disney so the stock price rose and, and then, then it crashed. Yeah, but he bought the all the stock. Well, it didn't he crash. Bought... It went down. <laughs> yeah, but but after after the proxy war, they announced a load of new stuff to try and buffer that, and now it's started to go back up. But so but they waited to try and buffer the stock price because stock price is perception; it's not actual value. But they uh, Nelson will have bought all the stock at the low point, and then just him being involved increased the value of the company, and so he's actually profited even though he's lost. Uh, it's the kind of he's a very intelligent bloke, but he is a money man. And he will have been like, just make stuff the audience wants. That's how you make money. And it's not like Bob who thinks as a CEO, he has a duty to get involved in uh, various different social ideas that he just thinks are moral goods. Um, Nelson doesn't sound like he's that kind of bloke. So he but, and Bob were competing for the position of CEO of Disney. No, uh, all Nelson wanted was two board seats. And that's what the oh, vote was for. Right. And the vote oh, got rejected. Okay. And so the board is staying the same as it is now. 
And though that's Bob's board. They, they'll just support him as a CEO. They'll do whatever he wants kind of thing. Uh, they're right. very new. They're very diverse. Uh, nearly all of them, if not all of them, have come in after like the last uh, Star Wars movie. So all they've seen is Disney failure. They've never seen success. Um, yes. And sure. these are the people going to turn the corner around. And well, this like, was an interview that he did after the election where they're like, what, what What do you think? Like, what did you learn from that? What do you think of woke? I think mean, this was his response. Clip, so. Neither did I. So here we go. Oops. I love what you said about wanting to entertain audiences. Critics saying Disney's too woke. That guy's mokes too much. Storytelling. We are. Look, I don't really like the term woke because I think it's an umbrella term that uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure I even know what it means. And one could argue that sometimes it's used too liberally. That said, our primary purpose is to entertain. And where we can entertain responsibly, obviously, we try to do that. We try to have a positive impact on the world. But the first thing we need to do is entertain. I love what you well, said you, about you failed at that. You don't entertain anything. Like well, People no, want escapism was... in their movies, not the crap that they push. He uses the old tactic of, oh, wait. You can't define it. It's like, okay, draw a line where the mountain ends. It's like, how many how many grains in a pile of rice? There are lots of things we know where we have concepts, which are really large concepts of very complicated ideas that we use words for, that we all understand, but be very difficult to describe. Um, and that's what he's doing with Woke. It's like, well, this is a massive idea that encompasses loads of things. I don't like the word though. It's like it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter, matter what... if you like it or yeah. not. It's yeah. it's existent in your products. And then not two hours after that, the the call, the Fantastic Four has Julia Garner as the Silver Surfer. What the the point is? It doesn't matter whether he likes the word. It doesn't even matter. Like even if we assume and just take his position that everyone that's using the word uses it wrong, right? It doesn't matter because they all know what they mean. They know they don't like it. They're saying you're putting it in your movies and that means they're not going to give you money. So whatever it is they mean, if you, even if you don't like the word, you need to stop it because you're losing money because of it. Um, but that's all this is. Anyone that goes, can I have a definition? Can I have a source? They're not genuine people. They don't actually mean it. It's a waste of time. It's an attrition of time tactic. And they're trying to get you to define something which doesn't necessarily have hard boundaries that you could even define in the first place. Like how many... How many grains of rice in the pile? And and uh, it's interesting that they don't ask for such definitions when calling people like transphobe, homophobe, racist, and sexist. They don't ask for such objective definition definitions because it's not convenient then. So it, it's interesting how those neo Marxist types they 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 really assume control of the language in a, in, yes. in a way. So in, in and that's the, the the primary weapon in a way to assume control of the language because if you control language you control culture you control how people express the, their thoughts and if you control how people express their thoughts you control conversation and you control thinking so it's very important for us to take back language and to not accept like oh woke is too broad a term it has no definition and yes it has a definition but then when they say oh uh when they refuse to provide you with a definition for the words they use as well, such as homophobic, racist, no, you gotta give me a definition for and that word. And the problem uh, with a lot this of microwave. Terms, like the the I heard umbrella it. terms <laughs> like that is that they use them and they diss you, and then you ask, can you give me examples on how this is homophobic or racist? Just because you don't like a movie means you're racist? No. I provided you with context, yet you still ignore it because it doesn't fit your narrative. Yeah, that's why it's like same with the internet on Twitter. If you try to actually educate someone, like I use this example when I, I posted a picture supporting Gina with a shirt, Gina Carano, and so I, I got mostly all positive stuff. And I actually didn't see this comment until like two weeks later. Someone was like, she compared being a conservative in America to the Holocaust. If you support her, you're a clown. And I'm like, that's literally not even what happened. And I could have taken the time to try to educate them, but they just would have read and been like, no, like they can't show any proof. There's no proof because her tweet didn't even say that. It was more so comparing to, you know, getting the shot and everything. Nothing about being a conservative. 
And she was right, by the way. She was right. But you're never going to educate someone. You're never going to educate someone. That's how these these you educate your friends too. Yeah, Yeah. you try. You you educate your friends, your family members, the people talking to you in person, but people that mean something to you. Yeah, Yeah. social media is to make fun of weirdos. Don't. But this kind of stuff has gone back. Oh yeah, I never literally trolls. This kind of stuff has gone like literally centuries and thousands of years. People have been debating the meaning of words. Uh, there was a whole story between uh, Diogenes and Plato. It's like, can you define what a man is? Uh, and by man, they meant human. And one of them described it as a featherless biped. And he just ra- he plucked a chicken, came in and said, Behold, a man! It's like, <laughs> this is one of the things. <laughs> just because you may not be able to come up with a very specific definition of a man that excludes everything else that you don't want to exclude doesn't mean that you don't know what a man is. And when you use the word, you don't know what you're talking about. And the other person on the other side doesn't know. The only point of language is to transmit an idea from your head to their head. And as long as that works, the word matters and the word works. If I say woke... Even if he disagrees with the definition, as long as Bob knows what I mean, that word has been successful. I have actually ma- the yeah. communication has been successful. He knows I, what he it knows is. I don't like it. He, he knows what it is enough to not like, like it. it. Yeah, yes. he knows what it is because he doesn't like it. If, if he had no opinion on, uh, on it, then I would believe that he doesn't know what it is. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. he associates He'd just be confused, that right? He'd be like, with... I, I don't know, can you describe it a bit better so I can understand? I mean, he associates that probably with the shame that comes with failing the corporation. So maybe that's why yeah. he doesn't like it, because he's been pushing all this woke stuff. And well, Disney hasn't a... been making as much profit as it used to. Oh, If it's making any. Well, isn't that the other not point? Not even at the parks. It's like... That used to be their, where they really made their money, and they're not making as much money at the parks as they used to. For a company that doesn't seem that you're saying don't know what this word means, how come it's in everything? How come you're so <laughs> like you would think like if you would, if it was just random, you'd actually do stuff that wasn't and you'd be all over the place. But no, you are specifically down one path. You do it incredibly well. You keep doing it. It's very reliable. You seem to know exactly what it is. You're just like, oh, can I have a definition, please? It's a false tactic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he seems very trained with the media. Oh yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. It's, uh, yeah, but he's it's boring. He has no yeah. presentation. You don't style. have to be like exciting to be a CEO, for sure. You just have to run the company be. well. I, I I think PR. Fifty years ago, when we were dealing in newspapers, a CEO didn't need charisma. But now you're on video, you're on the red carpet, you're getting interviewed live. I think you should have charisma. Like, even mm-hmm. Elon. Elon has way more charisma than him. And I think most people, when they watch yeah, Elon, yeah. you're like, he's, he's a bit weird, but he's, he's yeah. clearly very he's intelligent when he speaks. He's, he's not just boring, though. He's interesting, but weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bob is just boring. He's like, yeah, well, we're going to do this, and we're going to make you loads of money. He's and like then a we're robot. Yeah, he's like a he walking is. PR statement. For mm-hmm. an entertainment company. You'd yeah. think an entertainment company, the guy would know how to be entertaining, right? It's... <laughs> He's not. Yeah. I mean, come on. Look at just look at the state of Disney. Of course, he doesn't. I know. <laughs> He's I, so I out missed, of touch. I miss how reliable Disney was because uh, yeah. I was reminiscing with some friends, and anytime a movie would come up, we'd immediately go to uh, Blockbuster and rent the movie if it wasn't in theaters, and Captain like we'd Marvel. play it again and again and again and yeah. again. And you didn't even see a trailer. Songs. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just bought it. I haven't seen it right over there. Uh, a VHS copy of Tarzan. <gasps> I love oh, Tarzan. Tarzan. I love the the meme where he's holding Jane. And you're like, how is he swinging on that oh, boy? Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like up his ass. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. They, they do the backward thing and it's just between his chest. So you can see on the other thing. <laughs> Yeah. That's yeah, one funny. tight butt. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder the ladies like him. <laughs> Buns of steel. No, I would say that I'm going to say the most attractive Disney prince is Prince Eric from uh, Little Mermaid. What, what is yours, actually? Most attractive Disney prince? <gasps> prince Eric. Oh, He's a sailor, too. Of that. Oh, I don't know. I had a big crush on um the, the Mulan one because he could fight i thought that was cool or aladdin aladdin probably too yeah that would be a second probably the what, what? 
You the, the first one you choose is a criminal. Um, I think the bad <laughs> No, no, no. The first one was yeah. a general. The second hey, one was a thief. The, hey, a Latin was a thief. Yeah. Yeah, and the guy in Mulan was a general. Uh, not a general. Hey, what was his title? He killed people. He was... Federal criminals reproduce at three times the rate of a normal person. You're not oh, alone. Well, I guess, you know, whatever. <laughs> I can change him. Whatever, there, just There's through. a correlation <laughs> be bet between reproduction and low IQ, too. That's very interesting. Yes, uh, the lower what? IQ you have, There's the more There's a correlation you between, have. between <laughs> reproduction you're, you're and crime. Yeah, and reproduction and low IQ. And therefore, yeah. I can see low that. IQ and crime. It's also, this didn't used to be the case either. This is a modern thing. Um, oh, really? But, but yeah, because the higher IQ women now go and get educated. And now we know that the more educated someone is, uh, the more they go for a career. Especially if you're in a universe that uh, there was from base camp. Malcolm was talking about this, where he was like, if women are in an environment where there's more women, then they will have left babies. So now universities are mostly women. And so it, it drives them to be more career than uh, family based. And so you have all your intelligent women going off to have careers. They don't have kids. Whereas everyone else who's lower IQ has, um, they're basically more instinctual. So they have more kids. And therefore the IQ of the population just goes down be simply because oh. of who's breeding and who isn't. And IQ That's is hereditary. Evolution, possibly. And it's like the yeah, but democracy. It, it's downwards. No, evolution. no, and, and that's an evolutionary pressure that's occurring. Um, and and actually, it, it's, all, it's there, almost a self-imposed one. It's a socially imposed. Well, it's uh, the same pressure. thing. And, uh, because women Earth that are stay at home have more kids. So if you want, yeah, that, you'd have to have they, the intelligent The cool women thing is that home. there are there's also data showing that if the uh, I, average IQ of a population goes below a certain number. Democracy doesn't work as a as a viable form of government anymore. Well, I think we're already there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, the American the American military uh, they have an IQ limit. You have to be over in a certain IQ yes. to get in the army because uh, after below a certain IQ, there is no you're job you can do. Incapable where you're more of, of following instructions. Yeah, there's you you yeah. can't contribute more than you take away. And, so and that's the that American army limits. or UK or which army? The American military. Uh, the oh, American okay. military has done most of the IQ research specifically for yeah. this reason. They want as many people in the military as possible, but realize there is a limit where below this, you, you can't contribute. And we're going down. We've lost like yeah. 20 IQ points since about 1880. The, the um, life of a person right. with actual low IQ, like we use that term as a joke uh, every, all the time, but a person with actual low IQ, the, their life is very sad. They cannot learn. Well, I, yeah, but I, I, I do kind of think there's a benefit to it. I, I, I think that uh, you will be happier because you don't worry about a load of stuff, right? Because you're just instinctual. You're There's just living that. In the moment. Uh, yeah. So you're just doing what makes you happy. I don't, I don't think you're happier I, with a lower IQ. I, I mean, the happiest people I've met, I'm like, you're not very bright, but they, they're, they're not genuinely the no, best people I've ever point. met because they, they're so, point. they're like that, always that, energetic, that's, always happy. It's that's their view. On There's life. a wholesomeness to it. But that yes, but their life objectively will be worse in terms of. Their, their capacity of acquiring resources and building relationships. That's what I mean. But their view on that situation will be like, hey. Well, that would be the case <laughs> if you were at the, the lower Are we talking about like very, of... very low IQ? Like not almost uh, non-functional? Well, well, the difference uh, between like 85 and 120 is massive, even though it doesn't exactly. sound like Exactly. I think this is what disparu means. Ignorance is bliss. Low yeah, IQ I, I know, are I've way happier than intelligent people who... Like, yeah. you have no, people like, sense. I love I all the Marvel movies. It's like, I wish I did. Like, I'd quite oh, like right. I wish I liked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I wish I liked stuff. I want an yeah. IQ test now. I want to know how smart or dumb I am. I'm don't take, sure it, don't take it when you're drunk. Don't take it when you're, well, like... Yeah, I, okay, so I did the... Um, take one when you're drunk and when you're sober. Yeah, so I did the, Amer the, uh, the Canadian Army test uh, when uh, I, I applied. Of course, I never went. And I got 99th percentile, but I didn't get accepted into the army because I wanted them to pay for my school. So I don't know what that means if it translates to smart or not. I don't. <laughs> you got to really is... do it with a with a professional person who is spe who specializes in that, some psychiatrist or something, it... because there's a lot of bullshit online. Oh, okay, so I can't just do like and an online you'll do IQ the test. test and they'll be like, pay us twenty same. pounds, we'll give you your number. It's it's yeah. just basically a lot of the IQ tests online are a scam. Uh um huh, maybe one but day it, it is it's one of those things where it's a topic that will never be discussed because oh yeah it would involve no. an, uh, actually insulting a lot of people and because uh, because discussions like that are literally the only way anything's going to get fixed 
we are literally a gravitational pull down a cliff and it, it, like it's not Stefan Molyneux was kicked out of all social medias because of that because he discussed mm -hmm. that well, well, this is the question. You, you do get to the question of what would happen if the only way to save society was that women... Because before, right, if you go back far enough, your really intelligent women that would be like in the nobility, they would stay at home, right? Because they're, they would be wealthy enough that they could stay at home, they could focus on other duties, and they'd just end up having a load of kids. Whereas the working class would have to go to work because otherwise they'd starve, and so the working class women have always worked. So it was the other way around. The, the upper nobility would have kids and the working class would have less. Whereas now we've flipped because like through like government subsidies and stuff, the working class stay at home more, whereas the more intelligent women go to work. Uh, you do get down to a point. What if the only way to save society would be, no, you have to live this way. Nobody is willing to go, what if we've made a... Yeah. Society advances, but nobody ever goes, yeah, but what if we've made a mistake? And what if that mistake was back there and we should have gone off on another route? It will never be discussed. And that's in the West too. The I I, yes. I I think in the especially on those places like Mid Eastern Europe, the, those sort of places like the you you still have highly intelligent, rich, successful men having tons of children. So I I, I bet that that flip wouldn't be that expressive or not even happen at all in in. Oh yeah, like in, in Eastern Europe East. and stuff, it's like traveling back in time culturally. Uh -huh. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, they have this a lot of the same attitudes that were there, and even mm -hmm. like uh, Korea and Japan, they have a lot of uh, their traditions are a lot stronger, and they're also running into the same problem though that as things go it's, on, it's slowly changing. Kids. That yeah. has to do with that has to do with suffrage, with women's women's liberation. Yeah, and, uh, I have a stuff, question, yeah. Dan. It, how is the culture between men and women and Brazilian? Is it slowly uh, like the American culture is seeping there, or like how? uh based is it in comparison we're pretty to much, we're pretty much um, america's backyard whatever happens in america two years later that's happens the world in Brazil. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> no but really culturally we look we, we look up to america a lot even though most brazilians don't want to admit it because everything we got culturally here uh, uh in, in terms of worldwide worldwide culture comes from the united states actually so that's unfortunate we, we're pretty no not really i, I there's love, some things at I, least today i love american culture i love the in entrepreneurship around american culture capitalism at least it, it was like that a uh, uh, half a century ago uh, and the the whole you guys have an expression that was created it's a it's in english but it was created in america that it's you don't have that in any other language which is to make money you guys say like i'm gonna go work i'm gonna make money it's like it's it reinforces culturally in your language that wealth is created it's not taken it's not given it's something that you bring to existence i find that super cool ever thought of it that way <laughs> the interesting thing about the american dream is it was like a house and a picket fence and a garden and a family. The, the mm -hmm. family was always there. It was always part of it. And I feel like, especially in modern times, that's gone. Like, oh, the, it's absolutely the, gone. The, yeah. the very idea that a family is even something to aim for. No, now what do you do in your 20s? Uh, well, you, you go and have a career. It's like, well, you party, well, you work. Uh, it, when I'm 33, and I've got basically no time, so I might be able to pop out one. Uh, well, then I can have kids. It's like, why? Well, I've, I need my career. It's like, yeah, but if you did it the other way around, if you have kids when you're 21, it's way easier. You can have multiple ones, and then you've got all the rest of your life for career, and it just seems like we are doing everything reverse. And if everyone flipped the... If, if, if everything was flipped around, so you had kids first, and then once they were um, able to go to school and stuff, then you did the career bit. Well, a large part of it was... Catch up. Um, you know, kids used to not be a financial burden, whereas you hear nowadays, it's like, oh my the, god, the a kid is kids. so... Expensive, no, blah, the price blah, of blah. kids is greatly exaggerated. How uh, well, much it is. food it do you think a baby eats? I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, you make it in your breasts too, right? Uh, at okay. least for the first okay. couple so months. It's free. You get to eat ice cream and you pump out food for the baby. 
where's the downside <laughs> <laughs> no but like I, I think people there's so much frou-frou stuff with having a kid you're like you have to have the right car seat you have to do this you have to do that they can only eat this food this is well, the detergent you're supposed to use for your child than, it, and if, it's if you have like four kids I can't be the only one that I, uh, because I was like second in line, I, a lot of the clothes that I had were just passed down. As, as one grew out of it, it was passed down to everything else. Y kids, like, I see all I'm these the numbers. Oldest. I, I'm a the kid one will cost passes. half a million dollars. Like, how? They use a bit of electric, a bit of water, some clothes, and some food. Yeah. I think don't, the first don't dress one... your baby in little Reeboks. The... That's... The, the first one's rebox. probably the hardest. The first one's probably the hardest. Then uh, after yeah. that, you, you you just like you got it down. You know what just, to do. You, just How did poor people have babies before? <laughs> I mean, they weren't yeah. that expensive. And poor people mm. have more babies. Yes. Yes, they do. They yeah. do. Mm -hmm. It's like you got your life together. You can have one kid. Come you on. just you you it's manage like they're it. They're the status symbols. It was like now he's got to be all in the same clothes, and they've all got to be designer. And then I'm gonna carry him around and show oh my him god, yeah. TikTok. Children all. are dolls, essentially. Sometimes yes. the way some people treat them. Same I'm sorry, they the they're not gonna know you're wearing Gucci. Okay. Gucci. He's he's only gonna like throw up on it. I mean, why would he? He won't care. He's just gonna <laughs> spit up on it. Yeah. So, Justin Martins for another five. Thank you, Justin. Saucy Saturday, seldom getting to a topic as best Saucy Saturday. Like MT. Aww, thank you. <laughs> we, we, we eventually got there, though. We got, we got the topic. Um, and this is still topical. So, thank you, Ian, for the 50 pounds. IQ is nonsense. Intelligence is all relative to circumstances. Thomas it, Sowell co though. covers this that very well. There's so uh, much to that. The thing Th this about is something IQ... that makes people feel better, but it's just not true. No, 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 no. I, 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 IQ I, I, is I, I the single most uh, correlatory I, thing to success in life. We, You can take an IQ test as a kid, they will know how well you succeed. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't call it nonsense. That's definitely. You, Ian is right in the sense that there's other types of intelligence. However, they're not objectively measurable. IQ is the closest thing we have to measure objectively someone's level of... Uh, uh, the type of intelligence IQ measures is basically like your ability to recognize and reproduce patterns. Life is not only about that, but it's largely about that. Largely about recognizing and repeating pa patterns, reproducing patterns. But it's there's like... Uh, there's social intelligence. There, there, there's I artistic. I, I no. call it like no. This is something to make I, something I lack completely. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Look at I, I, like, IQ was invented point, specifically Jeremy. for the work environment. It was meant <laughs> to make sure that if you gave someone a task and then you gave them a new task, how likely and how quickly would they pick up that task? It is literally just how useful recognizing, you are in a job. Recognizing but, and reproducing patterns. It, like if if, yeah. if emotional intelligence was a thing and women were so good at it, they'd be able to control their emotions. I will say this: doing a test does not mean you're smart. I learned how to do memorization. tests, uh, memorization, and uh, as he said earlier, patterns and recognition. There are ways that you can do better, on, at least on multiple choice tests, than uh, you know, I, I don't know about uh, essay because I never went to school for essay type courses, uh. As long as you hit those points, you're great. I think what Ian means is um, just because you're high IQ doesn't mean you're good at something. Like, it, it's not another yeah. word for skill, right? But it is a word that if you gave someone a hundred different tasks, they would be the best at all of them. Like, overall, you could put a, a high IQ person and a low IQ person do the same hundred tasks. The high IQ person would be better at them at all, <laughs> all overall. Um, yeah. because that's what it's designed for. There are Forrest Gump is an outlier. <laughs> <laughs> Even ten dollars, low, low IQ didn't hold Forrest Gump back. <laughs> and also, well, like, Greg the Goblin dropped a twenty. It says nothing. I look sure at he's like got the 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 uh, don't tread on me shirt. Nice. I look nice. at um, like Ricky Berwick. I think the yeah. he had the developmental. Um, I don't know what specifically, and he has a successful career. You know, mm -hmm. you don't. Well, his and, condition has nothing to do with IQ. It's a it's a physical thing. Oh, is it only then, though? Is that mental too? I don't know. Well, I, I maybe mean, it was both. I don't know. It was mental, but I, I could be wrong. Is. Well, I I don't know. But what I'm I only know him as 
well, I don't know him personally, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've not given him an IQ test. But what I, I just mean is, like, uh, the way his, his body doesn't work properly. But you can have somebody whose body doesn't work where their mind works fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. So. Wanda dropped another five. Thank you, Wanda Moyer. Y'all have been fun. Thanks, Dan, for the Uber Outback heads up. It's time for that uh, that and blue collar comedy in Memphis, Tennessee. Thank you, Wanda. What Th is there Uber is um, a thing where someone's like, well, wh what do you think about various different IQs? It's like you don't actually generally meet really low IQ people. You know, yeah. they're, they're not the kind of people that are on TV and ask questions and interviewed about stuff. Um, oh, I see what you're exactly. saying. Okay. Yeah. So people generally the, the people that you will see on television and things are generally higher than when people like like when you're like well they they breed more it's like you, those won't be the people that you meet in general everyday life kind of thing yeah. um but when you do you know <laughs> I like Yo. Brian here. To be fair, a lot of retarded people that are successful just look at Cardi B. Idiots to make other idiots successful. Yeah, it's no, true. I I've would always consider said myself about... one of no those. No one say you can't be successful. I, I, I would yeah. consider myself one of those pe people. It's like you can, you can overcome lack of intelligence with, uh, with other traits such, such as discipline. So, uh, but the thing is, in order to learn that discipline is an important thing, you have to have some level of pattern recognition. So that's not true for all the, all the, the, the curve, you, you know, all, all, all of the, the low IQ spectrum. So there's that. Yeah, very true. But this really, like, you're right. It doesn't, you didn't mean that you can't be successful. It was a, just, but. Well, no, I mean, like. Off. If you had the body it's an, of the person it's, it's in Stellar an excellent Blade, predictor. It's an excellent it, predictor for success. Well, yeah, it, it's one. It's the highest. This is like empirical. It, it, but it's like if you have the body of the the, the model from Stella Blade, <laughs> nobody's giving her an IQ test. They're not. They're not going to ask her opinion on economics. You know. Yeah. It, of course, you can be successful. This is the whole point. It's like yeah, just because there's a trend doesn't mean there isn't exceptions at the edge. Like, yeah. When you can talk in generalities, it's fine. And also, a lot of people mistake intelligence for knowledge. Those are not the same yes. thing. You can have intelligence and not have knowledge, and you can lack intelligence and have knowledge. Those It's like being able to accumulate information does not equal being intelligent. Well, yeah, hyper-specific, like, genius-level people tend to hyper-focus on one they, thing. They combine those so two traits. Yeah, they combine a high intelligence it's with like a high level... like obsessiveness about something. ...of information, yeah. Mm hmm You know who I was impressed with? Because I... What, was it Friday Night Tights? I forgot who said this, but... Uh, I saw Sydney Sweeney was working on a vehicle, like her own oh, car. I saw that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sexy. I, I was suspicious about that because you know that, that the fish <laughs> it's woman. It's all clean. Well, no, well, the fish woman. She would just done a video like that, and then a couple Who's of weeks later, woman? Sydney Sweeney is doing exactly the same video. Uh, I don't like the fish. So, um, the one we were talking about before. With oh, the, Halle the Bailey. Accent. No, with the southern accent. Oh, yeah, no. the... oh, oh Hannah. Boy, the... I got, I got yours. Some boy girl. Same. No, yeah, the the one with the southern accent that was walking through Hannah the house Baron. And stuff and, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she did a video where she was exactly the same video. She was welding stuff. She was working on cars and trucks, and she was uh, working with tires and stuff. And then very shortly after, I saw Sydney Sweeney doing the same thing, and I'm like, it looks like you've copied it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. So there, there's this. I actually just watched this video where people are like exposing all these lies that like Sydney wants to be kind of like. Um, Jennifer Lawrence, where she's like so relatable and like every other like, you know, nice little American girl. Like she said, she worked at Universal as a tour guide and that was like debunked that she lied. She said it on multiple uh, talk shows. Not that this matters, but I just recently it's been like going making its rounds on YouTube and like that. She she says she went to school in Washington or something or by Washington. Um, but she, like in high school and she go, oh, I took shop. I did this sport and this sport and this sport. And it was proven that she did that in middle school. And that she was in L.A. going to, like, a art school in high school. So it's just all the stuff. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is a little sus. And it probably is why she did it. Cause she saw all the traction Hannah was getting and all the attention. Well, well yeah, I saw Hannah Barron literally boobs. putting a traction. She has great boobs. It's all Dan cares about. I, I believe Darren 100% that she can do those things. 
But Absolute Hannah Barron course. literally had a tractor wheel and she was putting it onto the rim and she you knows she's playing the gas inside. She and wrestles and set it on fire and it worked on <laughs> I will she say this. Did the thing. A she wheel like, is this very here. heavy to put on an axle. I've done it. It's not easy. And I hate getting my hands dirty. So that car she was working on was You're really, done really with clean. a tractor wheel? No, 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 no. 18 inch oh, uh, wheels, uh, oh, the biggest ones. I, I tried yeah. to do my brother's truck. I couldn't even lift it up to put it on the axle because, like, you have to like angle it specifically to get it on properly, you know? But um, I really hate changing I like summer it. to winter. I like when the car breaks down because I like to, I, I like to fix things. I enjoy it. I, I like I'll when bring you there, Canada, there's you something. Fix my cars. There you go. <laughs> but I, but I think uh, uh, I think that's a that's a men thing. Men like it like is machines and tools. gadgets. Yeah. Yes. And, 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 I, I grew and up with brothers like and people. stuff. They love it. This is why men yeah. like sticks. And, and, I love and saving thing. money. Women just don't understand. It. It's like no, it's a tool and it's a weapon, and that's what men are. You can do so to. much with this. Exactly. <laughs> mm. it's like this is just useful. <laughs> just you, 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 you want to find me? <laughs> Bang! Or I can walk with it. You know, it works. It's a primal and plus, thing. it's physical activity, so you're getting endorphins. Your happy hormone. Anyways. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, I mean, presumably women get endorphins as well. Although I don't know about the different levels. I mean, I don't like when my hands get dirty. I'll be honest. <laughs> But, you know. I, I, don't, I don't think that's an endorphin related. No, I don't no, like no. To when wash I, when I'm hands. changing, when I'm Fact. changing the wheels, because it's like it's cold, it's about to be winter. I got to put those heavy wheels on. I hate it, but I do it. Oh yeah, I, I don't do it on warm. winter because we don't have winter. You don't want winter. Yeah, I know. it's one of my yeah. favorite memes. It's like a guy with a camera phone looking out, and it's like his wife is outside shoveling the snow. It's like this is a win for equality. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh. never seen snow in my entire life. Oh wow! wow. You you kind of don't, you're not missing out to be honest. Well, I will it's say cold. this: it, you're it's lucky. interesting the first time, not afterwards. You're lucky because that doesn't rust your cars. When I went oh, to yeah. uh, like Cuba, like you get like classic, classic cars there. It's gorgeous, but you don't get that here because everything rusts. Yeah. But also in Cuba, they're like 50 years back in time. Anyway, well, that because too. Of communism. <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah, uh, I I. I can imagine that snow wrecks havoc in cars. Well, it's just horrible because snow's nice when it just falls and no one else has walked on it. And so you literally, you know, it's squishy and everything. The moment anyone else has walked on it and it refreezes underneath the snow, it's just deadly. You walk then on it, slip, think. Oh my God. Right. And if it, oh, I hate shoveling snow. Guess who shovels the snow in our family? To be fair, Mark has an excuse. To the person with two legs. <laughs> yeah, the person with two legs. <laughs> which, which is funny because like, I'll be like, he's like, you know, we could pay for someone. I don't want to spend the money. I'll do it myself. I'll do it. That would so have been me. Nice I'm workout. not spending the money. Get out there. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> but not in this really family. Good workout, though, to be fair. <laughs> Slasher, thank you for the 10 Canadian. A perfect correlation is one IQ is about uh, 0 0.5 in social like science. 8, yeah. Anything six, over six, 0. 0.2 is considered significant. IQ isn't everything, but it sure as hell isn't nothing. Thank you what, for the 10, Slasher. My IQ is too low to understand this. Yeah, there's... there's um, I didn't understand that either. <laughs> not very... <laughs> rarely is anything everything it's all it's all about correlation yeah absolutely. there's always room for exceptions there's always room for extra effort to move you over it the difference really comes in the fact that if you've got 130 iq versus 80 iq that guy needs a lot less effort to get to the same level that you do you can well you probably yeah. can reach 130 IQ. it's like naruto and rock up. lee no <laughs> <laughs> yes i love that it's reference so excited over this. oh no it's so true yes. when rock lee takes mm. off those heavy weights yeah exactly it's like, yes! <laughs> exactly anyways hard work um, beats know, you know. talent when talent doesn't work hard. that's how i felt when i was in school because i wasn't the smartest <laughs> Aww. Oh, wow. It's okay chris well, nicholson thank you for 10 <laughs> yeah right that's why it was so bad <laughs> IQ must be paired with drive and creative vision to be uh, used usefully. Look up the Williams uh, Citus. He had possibly the highest IQ ever and was raised to cultivate it, but did nearly nothing on his own. Wow. What, one of the interesting things with the modern school system is because everyone's taught at the same level, uh, your really high IQ, high IQ people find it easy, so they don't try. 
So the moment they leave school, they're used to not trying, and they spend the rest of their lives just wasting it. That well, and the other you thing definitely is, definitely waste your time. Uh, schools are made sense. for women too. It's harder for boys to sit still and learn in that type of environment. Yes. Uh, so a lot yeah. of boys you'll see not do very well in school, and then afterwards, well, uh, they... okay, the entire, a, a, the entire larger... education system flipped. It used to be male teachers teaching boys. And then at some point, people were like, well, but women aren't doing very well. So then they flipped everything. They changed the course. Men do better in tests. Women do better in coursework. So now over here, we do more coursework. We had female teachers, not male teachers. So they're better at teaching women, not boys. And so the reason why women have overtaken men in academic success is because we literally built the entire education system for them when it used to be the other way around. Uh, now, women used to be an education system, but it wasn't specifically made for men. But I think men are better at teaching everybody, whereas women just teach. Are we women. talking about like that's interesting. In, uh, children, or are we talking about university all level, or all of it? All, all the way. It, yeah, it used uh, to be uh, women all, graduate more. All from of education used to be men. They all the, they mm -hmm. used to be male teachers, and it, there's a whole lie that women used to be oppressed throughout history. It was literally never true. Uh, women have always been going to university and stuff. Uh, at least in this country, I can only speak about my country, uh, but they've always gone to education, but everything was fine. There was a specific push, maybe like 50, 60 years ago, I don't know the exact time, I've not looked it up, but where it was uh -huh. like, well, women are performing less, so they literally built the entire system, everything was rejigged, all the exams were changed, to more coursework. Uh, men weren't as teachers, the women taught them, and so now everything was flipped to boost them at the expense of men, and men were treated as uh, f feminine, it's the same with morality. We used to have masculine morality, which is about justice. It's about getting what you deserve. Whereas female morality is uh, everything's equal. We should share things dis and distribute things across everybody. And so all of society yeah. became feminized. Education became feminized. And now, uh, because feminine is the default, men get treated as broken women. If you don't act like women, if you're not kind of, there's something wrong with you. And that means it's a medical problem. So we need to give you drugs or whatever to treat you um because you've got adhd or something there must be something wrong it's not that you've got too much energy they're much actually a medical condition all of society was entirely rejig specifically for this that's why i like homeschool that's the idea insane. of it because yeah. you can do the course works so much quicker uh concentrating on just the one child or if you're multiple children um versus having to ferry 30 kids around and divide your energy between them so yeah, and the the weird thing is, it's it's the only the o literally the only complaint I've ever heard about homeschooling is, well, how are they going to be socialized? It's like, okay, so your kids go to school, then they come back, they spend all the time on the internet and playing games. You think they're going to be socialized? Do you? Yeah. We're in a different time. <laughs> I remember my days in school. My most of my 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 so social activities were outside of school anyway, like playing with my friends and, and practicing biking sports. around. Uh, I loved. Uh Running around, yeah. playing soccer, basketball. Yeah, with in the me, we, with me was a lot of basketball. I played a lot of basketball, and, and, and uh, in school, in actual school, my time in school was spent planning how, like what I would do outside of school. It was a huge waste of time for me, and I can imagine for most artistic and entrepreneurial types, it's a huge waste of time the way it is. Like, well, and the that's the, the thing. So if system. you could do all your coursework within, like, say, let's be generous, four hours a day, and a kid goes to school between like six to eight hours a day normally. So the extra three or four hours, you can teach them useful things around the house uh, or how to you know, run a business or financial literacy. These little things that kids can learn. They just don't choose to teach them in schools. Yeah, it's like you leave school knowing everything about the reproduction cycle of some bug, but you don't know how to how how to write a check. You don't know how yeah. to 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 keep your credit in in good standing. You don't know how to to buy a house, to buy a car. You don't learn how to drive. They don't teach you how to drive in school. This is kind of crazy. It's kind of a basic yeah. skill for life, but you know everything about Pythagoras or, or some shit. The Pythagoras <laughs> theory. Sub, the, the, like the working of atoms. How is that useful to anyone who's not yeah. a scientist? <laughs> when have you ever needed to know what an electron was? Like, come on. It's like, oh, well, it's science and it's hard science, so it's useful. No. Uh, yeah. it, school used to be about teaching you how to get a job. It's not anymore. I will say physics. I love physics for real life in terms of all the sciences. There's a lot of stuff in physics that is very useful. Mm -hmm. 
I so. would say most stuff in high school is useless. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of it, yeah, but uh, the chat, thank you for five. I have YouTube faves, of course, but this panel is premium. The discussions are top notch. As a genius myself, I can assert that. <laughs> <laughs> you do We're like having kind of, this conversation. We're having kind of deep conversation. Yeah, I love there's, this. There's a lot of nice comments right now. Escapo, thank you for the five. Saw the stream on my recommended feed and subscribed. Is this always a Saturday evening show? Yes. I'll be tuning yes. in for Yes. 7 p.m. Saturday. Eastern. Yes. And then here's another one. Y'all have great chemistry. Is the stream every Saturday? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, that nobody guy, for the five. All right, here. I didn't let's, know that streams. It was. I was always under the impression that live streams didn't get recommended to new people. It. I always yeah, thought it that's was interesting. people that um were interested. In I'm your breaking the algorithm. Videos. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> well, especially if you have you follow you follow a lot of your viewer or like the people who subscribe to this also watch this. I've seen that before in my feed. So maybe I've it was seen, something I, like I've that. I've seen that sometimes. Yeah. Let's let Disparu read this one. <laughs> <laughs> I did say Jeremy is an outlier, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Old Renaissance nerd for one ninety nine. Simple IQ test. Orangagonton, I think is how he pronounces it. Oh my or god. Orangutan. But you could just you could have just put the word. Orangagonton. <laughs> Orangagonton. I, I was like, what a beautiful <laughs> moment. Yeah. That's so funny. I missed that, but that's why I didn't know what that was from. Thanks. No, that, I'm changing yeah, that algorithms, algorithms one stream at a time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it, you kind of understand how that stuff happens. You know, when you're doing a stream, uh, there's you're paying attention to the chat, other people. If you're gaming, you've got something else going on at the time, and you just read something awesome. as you're going across. But make for some great moments. <laughs> yeah. They're, oh, yeah, probably. Unless the, you're the Mozart, in which thing. case you just misread your own name. His own yeah. name? He misread his own name. Yeah. Who? He couldn't read it. How did he say Maza. it? Maza, Maza, Maza oh, wow. is he probably tries to fight you all the time in, in the chat, being. Dan. Yeah, he's uh, he's, he's the Australian that hangs out with Lethal. Lethal, no, I, I, I've I've had a pleasant conversation with him once. Did he ask you to oh, yeah? on him, you dog? Because that's yeah. what he normally no, does. Yeah, uh, he's a, yeah. You dog. He's a, oh, you that brings such good memories when <laughs> Uche and Eric July did the one v one. Oh, I, I watched that. Yeah. Oh my god, what game was it? Halo. Oh, that was so Which sad. Halo? Which Halo? I think it was Halo Infinite. Cool. Love you, Melodic Arthur. Meth didn't mm. just give to 10 memberships. Thank you. Oh, wait, should we do the... <laughs> Our very mean? badly badly edited Mike and Disfru clip. <laughs> I, I want to see vibing. Mike. This is my like, vibe. Like, wiggle his <laughs> Yes. I love how I, I was on the other side of the clip. Blurry. I, I like out, he did it wrong. I, it still triggers me. That's no, that the way he wanted that. us to go. We'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, yeah. We'll one get day. it. Don't it's worry. Like... Yeah. Oh, it, it, it's, because it, it's, it's the bubble Thank you. Thing. His afro, it bobbles back and forth. It's the best bit. <laughs> I, I was a slow an motion in two frames per second. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Imagine the wind, Mike, <laughs> with his hair. Yeah. Hey, oh, we're talking tornado about hair, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Too. Oh my god! <laughs> Gas. What do you think of this fart? <laughs> I mean, Dan, you do fart with your armpit. <laughs> Don't know a lot of. Oh, your hands. I didn't armpits. know that. <laughs> That's impressive. How do you yeah. do that? Magic. It's fart magic. I can do it. <laughs> oh, <man. gasps> Ew. <laughs> we can't do it. This was like, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> no, no. This, this is just this is just where IQ and talents. <laughs> it's like, Wait, are your hands yeah, slightly like... clammy? Does, uh, I, does that I, help? I, in Brazil. I, it's yeah, hot over there. My, this one with this one like this. Cross them like this. And... I have a little one. You just was like, oh, wait, I want to try not to. No, I, I think if I wet my hands, it'd work better. Like, no, I, that's why I asked, are your hands clammy? No, it's like normal hands. What is this stream turned into? Wait, is this Rue doing it too? Who's doing it? Just Rue. That's me. There you yeah, go. It's just, it's just about forcing the air out. Just, I think, just practice. I think, I think with wet hands, it'd be easier. We will learn the next Aussie me and Practice one be... hour a day. <laughs> yes. 
There you go. This is my exercise. It'll work on my <laughs> chest just and do my an hour chest. long stream if you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we go from like deep conversations about IQ and predictions of intelligence and success. And to and me, like parts. someone yeah. someone who goes to the bathroom and comes back. And then we're like, hey! yeah. <laughs> we go from conversations about IQ to realize that we don't have any. Yeah. Hey, I love us. Okay, shush you. <laughs> it just shows how fu much fun we're having, even yeah. <laughs> after deep combos. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was fun. I I don't think we have any more topics really, unless you want to. Did you want to talk about the one, or that was just like an extra one? Yeah, we can talk about it, it another time. Yeah, we'll save it for next week. It's Simple getting Jack late for... stream. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably going to be a clip. It's just all of us doing that. And everybody, what on yeah. earth are they doing? What the heck are they doing? <laughs> this is weird. The stream just qualified for a special finding. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is our DEI showing. Yeah, we're going to get a disability benefit after this one. You don't have Man, to have, to have a show. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Never man. go full like you. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're not farting literally from our butts into the mics. I'm yeah, sure that, that would have been more impressive. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, people on Twitch Thank got banned you. for doing that, you know. Really? Thank you. Yeah, like, literally, pe people would donate and they'd be like, hang on. And someone, like, this girl got banned it's for it. And they would be banned? banned? What does it say yeah, in the she email? She got banned for farting into the mic. What? Like, what does it say and in the email had sex on they camera. received? Like, <laughs> you were banned for infringing hey, oh, our I... fart politic. It's... There, there was a woman who literally spread on camera. Like, Twitch is... Yeah, Twitch I remember seeing that. Wild. And she got, like, two days. Yeah. Right? Yes. It was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. My friend, Unfortunately, my friend showed me that. I was like, look at this girl on Twitch. And I was like, no warning. And I just saw... Butt cheeks. I was like, thank you for that. that. That's yeah, why I uh, like the green actually, screen meta. The green screen meta was I'm removing the bit that you've said I can't show on camera. And like, no, we can't do that either. It's like, yeah, every it's time invisible. Twitch puts a new rule, they find another way to stretch it and then they just got to keep <laughs> changing the rules. Like, yeah, actually, moving Bra goalposts. Bra yes. Brazilian, Brazilian farts is a very popular porn subject. I, I was no. told. Then why do you know was, that? I'm I was not told. surprised, but was he told. was so. His was friend told him. <laughs> friend <laughs> told for a friend. Him. Yeah. <laughs> and, and obviously, yeah. that the, the really high IQ question is: Are Brazilians named after Brazil because they're incredibly popular, or is it all a lie? Like the wax. Mm-hmm. Like this could have been named after any place in the world. Is there something? About, was it just a name, or did it specifically think, come from Brazil? I think it's because of our very tiny bikinis. Oh, <laughs> and then he that got more sense. popular here. Because Let me. Are you looking Google at search this? I heard her typing. I'm like, I'm actually, she's like, <laughs> she's like, hang on. Hold on, I gotta see this. I'm supposed to be the expert in this. I need to know. Well, uh, allegedly, seven Brazilian sisters had set up a waxing salon in Manhattan, New York. Uh, bring the waxing style to America. They're the J sisters. So it did start that. Their waxing technique in the U.S. It was known as the Brazilian wax. Well, so it was brought to America, then popularized there. Interesting, but the it makes sense know. because of the tiny bikinis. See, Diversity yeah, we have very tiny bikinis since forever. I don't want to know the answer. There's a banana thong. What is a banana thong? A banana hammock. Do you mean it's a mankini? Very, very tiny underwear. The the mankini oh. is the one that goes over your shoulder, and it's mm. just like a single thing. Oh, you mean the borat? Yes, the borat the, yes. thing. Oh, I popularized it. Depending on the super chat, I could wear that. Thousand dollar be... super chat, and he'll well, wear it. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna put him in your back for that one. Someone definitely hit it. Well, I don't know. He's a guy, so he might be probably like, be wicked. Uh. Wait, what? <laughs> if I say one number, people would do it, right? I will not say any number. No. Yeah, this is like Mike yeah. shaving his head. Yeah, I don't, don't, yeah, don't yeah. take yeah. what I said. Once right, you put okay, it out there, people from will Dan, do it. Let me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't do yeah. what I said. They'll, they'll start like a GoFundMe. We'll have a Kickstarter. Yeah. We must I would see. do it. I would do it for a certain number. I'm not really revealing what number. Dan, Dan Keen. Keen. <laughs> <laughs> I will say Brazilians know how to make a good flip flop. I love the flip flops oh, yeah. them there. Mm -hmm. really? Havaianas. Havaianas are amazing. Yeah. They're the best oh, flip flops you can buy. I'm surprised that you called them flip flops because I think it's Australians call them thongs. They thongs. And I, they I just do. assumed Americans said the same thing. 
No, we, no, we call them blub flubs. The first oh. time, it was like Maz or Elise said something about like, like blabs or someone wearing a thong, and I was like, "What? How do you know that?" Yeah. And she's like, "They mean flip flops." And I was like, yes. "Oh, jeez." Like, okay. <laughs> I had to Wait, put my it, flip flops well, on vinegar the other day because they were. Yeah. Smelling bad. <laughs> I had to put my thong in vinegar. They were that. <laughs> I bought it for three days. It was what it needed, all right? Oh, I'm looking up God. these Brazil. Flip flops. What are they called? Havana. Hava, uh, Havana. Havana. And, okay. and, and it's funny because because it means Havana literally means from Hawaii. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I love that brand. Best one. But get the Brazilian. thin ones, yeah. not the thicker uh, straps. Get the thin ones. Yeah, They're yeah. Twenty six dollars on. It's Amazon. worth it. Trust no, that's me. Twenty six dollars. That's cheap. I have. Uh, I bought them up. for fifteen. That's super you know, that's expensive. expensive. No, I buy them for fifty. <laughs> it, well, when I went to the Brazil airport, uh, Sao Paulo, it uh -huh. was like uh, ten to fifteen US, which is so great. Ten to fifteen US? Look, I well, can I get think them for month sale. I can get them for like twenty Brazilian. What's that? Is like, what is it? It's divided by five. Okay, four, can, next time dollars. I go to Brazil, I will wow. buy more of them because I love them. Go. Okay, well, my dogs eat them. I hate I, like when I if I leave him on the floor, Rocky will like disintegrate it. Yeah, he but it's likes great. chewing it's like, on the plastic. Great brand, everybody wears it over here. Well, that's not that much. I have some, <clears throat> the Nooks, and they're like forty, fifty dollars. They're comfortable, but I'd rather spend twenty six. Oh, they're, they're more. Comfortable I live in England. Than... I can't engage in a conversation about. Do you flip -flops even show your toes, the screw? <laughs> Ooh, it's in not public? about showing our toes. If we walked around in flip flops, we'd get like hypothermia and frostbite. Oh my god! So it's raining over there. Ask imports. It's I know it's raining business. over here. It's Ask England. Imports. I gotta confess, I'm mostly barefoot most of the time. Even not even. It's hot over there. I get that. Oh, so you do have yeah. something in common with Mazza? Oh my god! Mazza doesn't have <laughs> shoes. shoes and didn't buy any for like doors, six months. Barefoot. <laughs> Damn. X-ray was very concerned. She was like. Can someone send him some shoes? She didn't know the whole story, so <laughs> she's like, wait, he doesn't? them again. <laughs> Damn. I have shoes. <laughs> you have shoes. <laughs> like, He's like, don't compare enough. me to Mazo. Okay, I have shoes. I just choose not to wear them. I do like, we're not them. the yeah. same. I choose to not wear them. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only person I've ever known to get banned from a bakery. Because he like, get banned from a bakery. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, God. Uh, why? Uh, <laughs> Apparently he was drunk in there, and they, they, okay. they literally banned him. And he didn't have shoes, so... so it's in a tiny town, it's only got like a hundred people homeless. in it or something. They're probably like, okay, no, get this homeless kid like, out of here. It's like banned, like, uh, he got thrown out, or it's like you're forbidden to ever come no, back No, he couldn't here. go back in, yeah. Wow. No, he, he used to no enjoy cookies the pork for pies. He couldn't go back in. I've never been banned from he was somewhere distraught. before. <laughs> oh my I've never God. been banned Me from anywhere. Well, in his town, there's probably only one bakery. It's that small, so <laughs> it's, it's a big deal. So, yeah. Oh, well. No cakes for you, ever. <laughs> They're all vampires in England. That is very true. Is it true? Like, yeah, it, it rains all the time? Yeah, well, we, we exaggerate it, but a lot, yes. He's like, we don't want anyone to come here, so we just hey. say, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> this, is, this is what I usually do. If I'm going to the UK, you know, light sweaters to heavier sweaters, pants. The, I brought reason... that to the UK and had to wear and buy sundresses because I didn't anticipate it being hot. I didn't even bother looking at the oh, weather wow. thinking it's going to be cold. It's, like it's to, just going to rain. Fair, I got an was, umbrella and a sweater. That's weather. all I need. And the moment you all left, it got, started raining again. So, you know, I blame you. You brought the sun. <laughs> I blame I you for making it warm. Like your hottest day, average hot, average hot day on summer, just Peru, how many Celsius? Um, if it starts to hit like 88 Fahrenheit, I don't know what that is in Celsius. We have weird temperatures yeah. because it's so you, cold. You use all the time. Fahrenheit? Well, this is the thing. We, we use both because um, it's so cold all the time. We use Celsius when it's cold, okay. but when it gets hot, we like to feel like superior. So <laughs> we'll use Fahrenheit because it's a bigger number. So we'll be right. we'll be sweltering at like 88 to go. Oh. Do, do you know it's almost ninety? <laughs> it's like, it just I have no like idea number. about Fahrenheit. I only know Celsius. I, 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 I love think Celsius. The, oh my god! I think god. the translation is like uh, so, like ninety degrees Fahrenheit, which is something that's normal. Thirty-one I think for eighty. 30, yeah, so thirty-two for ninety. Yeah, so it's yeah. usually like around ninety in Florida. I would say that's like a comfortable like upper eighties, ninety. So that I would be about melt. thirty, thirty-two Celsius. Eighty-eight is like apocalyptic like to me. 
Well, How no, is it they have the AC there, Disbrew, unlike you yeah, Brits. Yeah, they cheat. But we need it. No, we I've don't I've had this cheat. argument with drunk. He's like, no, I like warm temperatures. Why? So do no, I. You do know you don't like warm temperatures go because you sit in the house and cool though. the temperature down. No, you know, that's that's right. you'd be like, There's oh, that. this is amazing. <laughs> but Just beam yeah. your so heat if into you, me. If but you I have an really AC, yeah. If you have an AC, no opinions yes. on temperature. We don't yeah. have AC. Why, how hot is it in chance. Brazil? Yeah, we Dan. don't. You don't have AC? No, we have. They exist in here, but I don't use it. What go. is it usually there? Like you 30 degrees Celsius? Like a and today, today was 30 and it was like, he felt normal. Okay, so that's like 85 for me oh. in Fahrenheit. To that's fair. fair. I'd like just be too. sitting there with fans on me. Just no, to be fair though, if you don't have 30? AC and you're usually just hanging out, it doesn't feel that bad. And especially if you know how to drape the windows, cover things, and you can keep the house cooler. My mm -hmm. perfect temperature is maybe around like 20. Celsius. Degrees Celsius. <laughs> yes. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I, I like, I like twenty Celsius. Feels, yeah, same. Feels good. Dan, this one's for you. That nobody guy for five dollars. Sure, Dan, you heard from a friend about Brazilian adult fart content. Delete your yeah, bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> My friends know all about it. Oh, and another one for Dan. Lee Kramer, Cr Cranmer. Thank you for the two dollars. Dan Vask, how's the whale bone doing? It's doing great. It's right over there. <laughs> I'm so jealous of it. I want that. it. And Jeremy was so it pissed. Is, it That's is my, literally, one of my favorite stories. <laughs> it's so close to human spine um, with the facets. It's very the similar, spaces. right? It's really cool. Yeah. Well, most mammals, the bone structures are the same uh, with uh -huh. slight angulation differences. That I was so um, astounded when I saw my dog, uh, her x-rays the first time. I'm like, they look like humans. Anyways, yeah. my bone and knowledge. It's crazy how a whale, such a, a sinister, <laughs> different being, it's like have well, very similar, very similar. Another another one that I found astounding too is giraffes. Even though they have a long neck, they still have seven cervical or I call I like calling a cervical vertebra. And they're just tall. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're, uh, they're giraffes. Just they have long to have vertebrae. Yeah, they're just they taller. I giraffes just... have pressurized veins. Let me see. Their heart can't pump the blood up there. So they literally, their entire neck is like pressurized to Let get the see, blood up there. Let me see, just to make it's sure. Yeah, they only have seven <laughs> cervical vertebrae. Which is wild. Oh, wait. How, yeah. oh. My favorite is two giraffes Vertebra. fighting and they just start smacking each other with their neck. No, they just like start headbutting. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. Like yeah, the they're, Scottish. They're seven they uh, run, 10 centimeters run, long. Like this. Wow. Insane. Funny. <laughs> but I just like how that kind of stuff evolves because it's like, well, you know, we eat from trees. So if you've got a higher neck, you get more food. So you'll breed. And then over time, yeah. they just had higher and higher necks to beat the other little kids. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Basic Darwinism. Well, that's going to happen with humans. If women keep going, no, I want a guy who's six foot, six foot one, six foot two, six foot three. We're well, going to be <laughs> giants in a hundred years. Yeah. That's, well, women, we, women we have gotten taller. How our, how our species is A lot of that is like. diet, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you go back to Genghis Khan, Geng the Genghis Khan's army were massive. And they used to take the piss out of the Romans. Because they're like, yeah, they're, they're getting fed on grain. Those little weak little guys can't even <laughs> fight soft little savages. Whereas us, we're eating meat and f like cheese and milk. Um, and so because they ate that diet, they were massive. Yeah. Growth hormone is a combination of diet and sleeping habits. Have bad but that was sleep. always the thing with uh, what was it? Um, yeah, it's important. To the get Last sleep. of Us Two, where you you had the woman who was absolutely like, mm. where did she get all the calories and the sleep when she's yeah. in the apocalypse? That's a full time <laughs> job, that is. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, extra. Oh, bless you. I, I thought she was about to I, yawn. Like, help when you silence me. Judge my work. sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> she's a judge. No, it was still that was an earlier you went. Eh, and then you didn't sneeze. And you're like, no, I that's did. a sneeze. Like, no. If it you don't like, like knock out a window, you've not sneezed properly. Yeah, you can, you, that's not a sneeze. That's an anime sneeze. It's an Asian it's girl a... sneeze. Let me have this. No, that's not. It's, you've got to like, blow out a long... Asian. You don't know Asian stuff. <laughs> if people don't think that you're dying, that's not a problem. Don't like, Asian no. explain me. I want, I, I want it to Asian break the sound funny. barrier. <laughs> so you do it properly. <laughs> yeah, bless I can't you. wait. For in person for him to bother me. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you're going to sneeze in front of me and be like, that's not a sneeze. Like, that's you not just a sneeze. sneeze. You that's didn't not... sneeze. It's cheating. You've got well. the build up. That's it. I... It's a no. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, it's getting late, guys, and Dan probably wants to go to bed. We went over. Yes. We had so much fun. We went over. I'm so sorry, Dan. We kept you up. I know. No, sorry. Okay. I, I think I, he would have I said was, he had to go. He was I was fun. streaming before, and I, I'm like, I'm, I'm pumped up. Castlevania does that to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forget coffee. Those play whips, Castlevania. Eh? You can get away from it, the and now whips. you can see more than eight colors. So it's like, oh, it's so bright. Uh, you know what? I think he perked <laughs> up once he started farting. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well... Yes. Well, I mean, that's a clip. Uh. So what? Uh, what do you have going on, Dan? Any videos coming out? Any streams? Got anything? Yeah, like, I'm, happening? I'm working on a metalized version of a Bon Jovi classic. I promised that before the the bet with Gary was over, but I'm I'm still gonna deliver on that. A lot of people were very excited to hear a, a heavy metal version. Uh, bon Jovi was kind of considered heavy metal already at the time, but it was more like the the hair metal kind of yeah, oh, more yeah, main, thanks, mainstream hard rock. But yeah, I'm gonna make it proper metal. So yeah, and there's also Super Vask 3D, my gaming channel. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the, just, the description uh, right now. I totally forgot go. about that one. I love that it's pixelated. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's Hold literally on, my, yeah. my 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 regular picture, but pixelated. I love it. I, li I like the Fable The Lost Chapters thumbnail as well. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm putting it uh, in the always... description right now, guys. Uh, you know, oh, attractive anyone people get people to click on thumbnails. <laughs> you chose a winner there. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else is playing like Sydney Sweeney on everything. And you're like, no. But that was, uh, that was when that really blew up. And I was trying to like, hey, this is actual Fable. <laughs> <laughs> this is actual Fable. Oh, man, that game is dead on arrival. That new one. Which one? Mm -hmm. the, the the new the the the, the ugly as fuck, shit. Oh. You know, you, you, there's you a know lot the... of them. You might I need know, to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> so like, ju just the, the just just Google means... ugly character fable. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh fable. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and then and then people yeah. found someone at the company that looked like it. And it's like, exactly is this a self like her, yeah. And then they were like, no, no, it's based off a model. It's like, well, your model doesn't look anything <laughs> like your model, model but this huh? staff member does. Yeah, <laughs> it's, maybe it's based on the model's uncle or something, but yeah. <laughs> first Press thing X I see, I see this. Hold on. The first thing I, I just got to show this is, it must be a, a YouTube. I don't know whose YouTube this is, but it just says, she's ugly. It's right here. <laughs> I mean, not was, not. It could have almost been a Ryan Kinnell thumbnail if it had no, he the was like black a black bar strip, with red text, the white yeah. text. Yeah, jeez. Like, okay, he, yeah. He, he would definitely use those words in a thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And this is the actress. She's not a, not really ugly. Yeah, I know. I mean, they, they, that's they a different person. The one on the left is attractive, although she should have longer hair. Oh, that man. hair what line is do? looks like she looks like a doll. Like you know how like, yeah. they stitch it in like little chunks. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> gross. Uh... Well, make sure you guys follow Dan. I have all the links in the description now. His gaming, his YouTube, you. his Twitter. You're welcome. And so you got the Bon Jovi video coming out. So look for that. What do you got coming up, X Ray? A lot. Ooh, so Sunday's uh, your busy day. I, I Actually, don't know. Saturday's your busy day now, too. Yeah. Tomorrow uh, is my last day at home before I fly off to Vegas. So I'm going to try to get some streams in. Um, Forbidden Frontier is canceled. So I might game in the evening uh, or in the afternoon if I'm not packing. So extra girl everywhere. And I will try to be live at some point in Vegas as well. Yay. What about you, Disparo? Got anything coming out? Uh, I have no idea what the next week's going to be like. I'm just you're traveling you. watch yeah. star trek discovery i think that would be I, I a would, great video for you i was gonna watch star trek discovery on the plane oh, that was one of our plans oh man uh, oh yeah. why hey, torture hey, yourself <laughs> well if you can sleep on a plane that's always an advantage i'm like what better thing than star trek discovery that's gonna put me under damn uh, meanwhile <laughs> i'm watching deep space nine for the first time ever Ooh, you <gasps> are you loving to? it i'm i i'm mid third season and i'm loving oh, okay. absolutely yeah. the the first the, the, the first two seasons were kind of a a, a chore 
a bit, but I got used to the characters and I will, mm -hmm. some people told me to skip the first two, but I'm glad I didn't do it because yes. some stuff wouldn't mean as much to me if I was mm -hmm. just seeing it for the, for the first time. Some, some stuff with Odo, some that mm -hmm. required some character building. So I'm glad I didn't skip, I didn't skip that, but uh, yeah, by this point I'm loving it. That's the thing. With, it took me a few and it gets goes. even better, right? People keep telling me yes. that. Yes. Oh, yeah. It keeps getting yeah. better. Uh, it was. It took me a few goes to get into Deep Space Nine, but I was once the new stuff came out. Going back and watching like season one and two of Deep Space Nine, it's like, well, okay, it's gold now. You know, yeah. compared to what we have now, I can put put up with this. Um, and when it gets into the wars, and there's there's a lot of lead up to it, so you'll see it coming. It just keeps um, improving. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and. Next generation was also a little bit to get to get into the fir the first season. Other right? people say that, like they say, the first season they didn't like it. I liked the first season of Next Gen though. I didn't just I like really it. That one. I didn't just like it, but the 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 ones that followed were so much better. But oh, yeah, that's yeah. why that's that's why I always recommend when people say what's what should be my first Star Trek. I always say go to the the first original. Star Trek. Oh yeah. no, I'd I'd still say Next Gen. Really? You know what? Yeah. I say I say that to 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 newbies because it's so easy to get into the original Star Trek, like from the very first episode. It, it's like with Doctor Who. I would say start with the modern stuff mm -hmm. because New I, Who? I, I think it's just. Well, I don't mean like now, I, but when, like after the remake, like yeah, yeah. oh Eccleston, two thousand. Yeah, I didn't know his Doctor name. Who. That, that's where I'd start, because I just think mm. a bit more of a modern take is easier for new people to get into. And then if they like next gen, then you tend to find them going, actually, I'd like to see how all this started. And then they're more willing mm -hmm. to give sort of the older graphics and stuff a try. Depends Ooh. who you're dealing with, though. If they, if they don't mind the graphics, then yeah, for sure. It's, it's the same with the... Babylon 5. Babylon 5, the graphics, a lot of people are put off by the CGI. But if you can get past that, it's an incredible story. Yeah, I have I have a very easy time putting myself in the mood for like stuff that doesn't look as good. You can even watch it on your CRT monitor. Exactly, mm -hmm. I do that, and especially Deep Space Nine because there's uh a, a, there's no remaster. Mm hmm. I don't think there is of um, Babylon Five either. Hmm. Yeah, that's perfect for a CRT. The chat for two dollars. Thank you. Would like Dan to explain the light in his background. That is what? cool. I like it. It's like a. I think it's you guys nice. Don't have, you guys don't have lamps, lamps? In, in your country. <laughs> have you I've never seen one like that. But I... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lamp. I, I I bought something that was a little bit more decorative because it w was supposed to be on the background. Yeah. So it's just a it's just a funny looking lamp. <laughs> it's it's just cool. funny looking, and I liked it. That's the explanation. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of weird though when, when you have lights in the background. It kind of makes it look like a green screen because. Your face isn't lit by the same stuff, so yeah. <laughs> oh it, yeah, it's it's sort it. of a backlight ring in my yeah. my face. Yeah. Uh, yes, I've read Ayn Rand. I've read uh, Atlas Shrugged, and uh, oh, I'm forgetting the name in English because I read it in Portuguese. The Virtue of Selfishness. I read that. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Thank you for the one ninety nine. And then the last one is for Disparu. Slosher says, Disparu, heard you're flying to the F&T meetup with Aiden. Be sure to remind her she's a bird. I don't get it. Yeah, don't, uh, apparently she got something wrong with her bones. So people call her a bird. Aww. Um, it's like, why are you in a plane? You're you could just fight. fly there anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that, I don't know who that is. Look up. Sorry, I'm terrible at YouTube. Aiden Paladin. It's okay. There's a lot of personalities to know out there on YouTube. There is. Just, you guys already uh, know GG this. Tabletop with us. Yes. Okay, that's probably why, because I, I, I don't watch that that much, but I check it out once in a while. All right. I've probably seen her face, son. Um, but all right, I guess that's everything. We told you what we have going on. I have gaming streams going on next week, or like Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You guys know where to find me. Um, anything else anybody wants to add? Actually, I doesn't want to leave. She did the no squeal. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> no. uh, one more before we go that nobody guy for five this was right next gen is better to, uh intro to star trek next gen is goat mm. i mean i just go for my own because of my own experience it was with the original star trek and i i had a blast 
Yeah, I yeah. think it just means. I, I think it's just how open you are to classic stuff. Like you like. Retro I yeah. Things, I so. have a very. I, I'm very nostalgic. I like. I watch shows. I watch that Disney Zorro showing black and white. I have yeah. a ton of fun with it. I have no problem with black and white movies. I, I love, love classic black and white. I say yeah. for Gen Z, if you're trying to recommend them, yeah, it's a little yeah. slow for them. They wouldn't appreciate it as much. There you go. The chat likes your light, Dan. Thank you. <laughs> just curious. <laughs> All right, guys, we are out of here. Dan and Disru got to go to bed. I think Disru will probably play Hell Divers after this, though. Let's be honest. No, I'm going to watch know... Mike play Hell Divers. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mike yell. All right, I, I thank you so much. I watched him watching Fear the Beardo's intro like halfway oh, through the stream. Oh, it's a 30 minutes long intro. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much like, for coming on. He's got the Batman on his screen. This oh, is Dan, yeah. you're wonderful. Yeah, thanks oh, for coming thank on. We had so much fun. Yeah, it was we, cool. He I, I, I liked a lot. Had a great time with you guys. Thank you very much for Apparently, having me. Apparently, we meshed well all the different countries. We got America, yes! Canada, the it's UK, a, and then bigger Brazil. joke now. We've been ticking I know. boxes to this. An American, American diversity, Brit, yeah. Canadian, and Brazilian walk into a bar. <laughs> and you think she's this. Italian for some reason. Italian American. I say I'm American. Okay, listen, don't start with me, Sass All right. <laughs> Sass <Sasperu>. Peru. <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Don't forget to follow everyone. Give Dan love on his gaming channel, too. We're going to pester him to get back over there. It's been a while, I think, since you've been over there. So, yeah. all right, guys. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.